<sighs> Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Shout out to everybody podcast, episode 142, man. You already know, man. Best podcast in the city. Best one in the world. You already know. We got a special guest, man. This dude wear a lot of hats, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start with the most important hat, man. You're a father, dog. Yes, yes, sir. You know sir. what I'm saying? You're a father. Mm-hmm. You was an executive producer at one time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He probably still is, though. Yep, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? Still am. Motherfucking rapper. Check. Hooper. Check. Video game collector. Check. And this dude don't own no jeans. I don't. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I do, I man. Don't. Fresco bundles, man. What's poppin', bro? What's good, bro? What's hey, up? man, I hit up Sean Carlo like, dog, what's some funny shit about this dude I could break up? Mm-hmm. He said, man, that dude don't own no jeans. Nope. And, and look, look at me. <laughs> That's how I look when he first came in. <laughs> like, wait, what? Came what is, in sweatpants. You don't like, you don't like jeans? You don't like the, nope. the way it feel? Nope. I like, <laughs> I'm, I'm more comfort over style. Yeah. So if I, like, can't wear my sweatpants there. Yeah. It better be like some high class shit where I can get get in the suit. Yeah, if I gotta wear jeans. I ain't going. Well, last time you bought some jeans, nigga. You went last to the time store. I bought some jeans. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I can't. Damn. I don't know. Damn. I don't know. <laughs> like I just got into the whole jogger shit like even, a couple years ago, mm-hmm. and they be saying the same thing about me. Like, nigga, do you own pants? Like, bro, man, you know what? I'm mad that joggers became like fashionable because like yeah. when I was doing it, it wasn't fashionable. I was be able to get like. Yeah, a whole bunch 30, of school. 30, 30, 40 dollars, yeah, yeah. you know Man. what I'm saying? Now my, now my shit, a hundred dollars. And I'm like, uh, what the fuck happened? the fuck just happened? I wanted to go get a little Nike Tech outfit, though. Mm-hmm. I saw how much that shit was. I put it bro, back down. Yep, man. yep. I'm straight, bro. Y'all <laughs> niggas ain't made this shit fashion, so I can't even, I can't even be on, just do what I do, but fuck it. And but, then you, you gotta find the right jeans, dog. Like, when you put the bitch yes. on, it's hard to find the right ones, dog, that fit right. Like, nigga, they, they start to have baggy ones now. They got the ones up top that be fitted. Like, nigga, come on, dog. I ain't I don't no know. female, dog. I don't know, because I don't wear them. I, I told, like, the last time I went shopping for jeans and, like, trying to wear jeans, I probably was uh, a sophomore in college. <laughs> this nigga was a minute ago, bro. Bro, that was probably, you know, I was 19, 20 years old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was still, like, trying to, you know, do that. And then... I'm just glad they don't have those jogging pants that used to go over your motherfucking feet, over your, under your shoes. Yeah, nah. I hate them bitches, dog. When they yeah. start making them bitches tight at the ankles, like, yeah. bet. Because, nigga, you be having some motherfucking dog-ass Nike or some Jordan. I don't like them too tight at the ankles, though. I don't, like, I don't like the soccer. I don't like the soccer ones. Yeah, I don't want to see my calf muscles in the Yeah, bitches. I don't want to see the calf muscles. Yeah. Like, I, like <laughs> but, you know. I don't want to flop. I don't want to flop it over my shoes, either. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah nigga. I, I, want you, I, want, I want to see my shoes. Then you got motherfucking all snow under yeah, your motherfucking nah, shit, nah, dog. Nah, 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 shit nah. funny as hell, man. Like but, that. hey, man, we start everything with Salute Me While I'm Here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? A lot of times we wait for people to, to pass away to make that long ass Facebook post. Right. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I miss him or her. You know what I'm saying? Instead of giving them flowers while you can still smell them. Mm-hmm. But it can't be a typical answer. You know what I'm saying? Right. Go to's your kids, your right. your parents, your lady. Like, it got to be somebody out of that easy answer. Right, right. Who you got, man? Who you want to give some flowers to? So, I remember remember watching Sean uh, episode and mm-hmm. I, I remember this question. I'm like, damn, who, who would I say? Yeah. So, uh, Based on the situation right now, I got four people. All right, go ahead. Shit. You feel me? One one being my brother, Sean Carlo. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because he did shout me out. Yeah, you for know sure. what I'm saying? And he gave me mine, so I got to return the favor. For sure. Shout out to me? Sean Carlo, man. Uh, the second being David Wesson. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The the, the Detroit Eastside legend that produced all the, the songs on my latest album. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Third being my engineer, mm-hmm. Armando. Okay, shout out. You feel me? And for being you, my brother. Oh shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It, I, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You you deserve your shit because sure. you know it's not it's not that many people with uh who are creating their own platform, mm-hmm. you know, in this in this in this shit that we doing, you yeah, know, in this sure. entertainment space and you yeah, know, yeah. in Detroit, you know, and you know, to be doing it and keep doing it and, and putting on for the city, yeah. that bitch is that's love. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's for sure. that's, that's that's amazing. For sure, so man. Shit, you, I appreciate you deserve that. it. Well, I appreciate that you know. shit, man. Cause it, hey, man, this shit this shit started from me having rap dreams, dog. Right. And I'm like, dog, if I do a podcast, bro, everybody who come on, I can get them niggas to listen to music and you know, so mm-hmm. we can work. Man, at the fifth episode, I said, man, fuck rap. I like this shit way better, dog. Like, it's cheaper, dog. <laughs> Fuck when you, rap. When you got an uncle producer, nigga, who can right. help you out, dog. Right, right. Shout out, <laughs> unk. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You good and, nigga, like, 
Dog, that shit started getting like better over time and shit, dog. Yeah. It's just something I like having conversation with niggas, and I ain't met some some dope people that I still talk to. You know what I'm saying? After the podcast, right? So yeah, that shit dope, dog. Sweet. But shit, before we start, bro, mm-hmm. with everything, dog, I realized something. I want to get your your opinion on it, dog. Mm-hmm. It's something that's that that's really like no, I didn't talk about that, dog. But I, I could talk about that too, though. Mm-hmm. At what age, bro, did you realize that you was too grown for a silly ass email name? <laughs> like when you try to get a job and your name is motherfucking number street one nigga at gmail.com nigga <laughs> third street nigga lord nigga like, right right yeah cause me and my wife was talking about this shit like when we real, like she realized like after she turned like 19 like she got to start having a bullshit ass email name mm-hmm. so yeah when, do you ever do you or niggas this niggas facebook names like unless you go by like, fresco mm-hmm. bundles mm-hmm. it's your stage mm-hmm. name so yeah. you, you know what I'm saying if you ain't no rapper you ain't got no business your name should be your name, dog. Yeah, probably probably nineteen. Yeah, nineteen, going on twenty. Yeah, it was probably like, it was uh when I started looking for a job and they would start asking for emails. And I was like, damn, all I got is motherfucking five nigga for the three one three. Like I can't I can't make that I can't make that the email. No, you said did you say five nigga for the three one three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dog. AOL. Uh, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, and that was like my crush bot name too. Dog crush bot. I had a, I had a Facebook name. I it was a uh, Darrell, Mr. Layup Line Carter. That was when I was just getting for sure, I was for just sure. in the layup yeah, line, you feel me? Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't get no other buckets, but I was I was all American layup line. <laughs> you feel me? And then then once I actually like I moved on from layup line Mr. Mr. Layup line to too cool. You feel me? I was just too cool for everything. I don't yeah, know why. For sure. I was just too cool. Yeah. And uh yeah, so I, I I changed that after a while and just and just went by Darrell yeah. on Facebook anyway. It's cool though, cause like I'm 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 36, bro. Mm-hmm. I, I I I hate when I see niggas around my age, dog, with them crazy ass names, nigga. Fuck hoes, get money, nigga. Dot wine, nigga. Like yeah, damn, dog. Like like nigga. My thing is, I'm real conscious about Facebook for some reason, dog. Cause like if I die, I don't want my last stats to be some bullshit. Right. Like nigga, get money, fuck hoes. And then, nigga, I'm dead. And then, nigga, go back and look like, damn, that's the last thing this nigga said. Like, go for it. Fuck nigga. bitches. Hell yeah, nigga. And I'm getting drunk as fuck tonight. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about shit. <clears throat> then you did, nigga. Like, <laughs> like you got to really be. Got to be thoughtful. conscious of shit like yes, that. Yes, yeah, dog. Yeah. Of what's going on. Yeah. And for you niggas, man, it's change. Like a, it's like a fingerprint. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> change your email if it's some weird shit and you trying to get a job, dog. A nigga trying to be a bank teller and he got a killer in his motherfucking yeah, email. I don't do like, it. I mean, I'm the whole killer, nigga, at gmail.com, nigga. Like, nope. <laughs> no way, sir. You are not getting whatever you're trying to get from me. Dog, for sure, man. For sure, man. But shit, man. It's the end of the year, dog. Yep. 2022, man. It's almost a wrap, man. We got a couple yep. more weeks and shit, dog. How your year been, man? What's been, been going on? It's been a great year, bro. It's, well, every year is a great year when you when you can get completed, right? Mm-hmm, for sure. Um, But it was a lot of shit that I did, mm-hmm. like musically, mm-hmm. uh that I've the most I've done since I started making like music on my own. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of accomplishments with that. You know what I'm saying? Just watching my son grow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That shit was amazing. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, learning shit about life. Yeah. And just, you know, just just really uh just growing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are you watching your son grow like I like before we had kids, we we, we think we know about love and life and shit right. like that, dog. But once you have a kid though, that shit just like Change everything. Like, how mm-hmm. is it? How was your oldest oldest son? Uh, he 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 just turned four. Actually, okay. hold on. Your, your son's a goat, dog. His birthday uh July eighth. Nope, I'm my birthday July. 8th. Oh, you a goat then? Yeah, my birthday July. Oh, that's my son's birthday. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. Look at that. Look at <laughs> that's that. my son. My shit June twenty first. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah, ain't but, tra- but hey. Our our son's birthday is low key more important than ours at this yeah, point, sure. right? Like yeah, yeah. like I feel like the yeah. twenty ninth is mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't care about my yeah, birthday. Yeah. My birthday right? come up, nigga. Nobody even say shit to me. Cause right. <laughs> you drop your cash app like a little, you know, hey, little man, hint. Y'all want to go ahead and donate, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, like man, fuck you, good. <laughs> <laughs> but no, July eighth, yeah, that's my son. Uh, that's shout out to birthday. AD, that's man. Son, shout shout out your son. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. But yeah, like how did it change you, dog? Like having having kids, like was you wild out here in the streets or whatever? Like I wasn't. Nah, man, I'm I'm always. Been like a, a chill, mild manner type guy, you know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. So I ain't ever really been like out in the streets, like you know, mm-hmm. partying and doing all no kind of crazy shit, yeah. you know. So it was like, it was just more so a, a wake up call on me, like seeing like my manifestations because like I've like I've seen like I've seen this baby before, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like because sure. like I made him in my head, damn yeah. near, and it's like here he is, and yeah. it's like wow, yeah, for sure. Like hold on. <laughs> I'm really am I'm really am low key kind of powerful with this. Hold yeah, on, man. let me chill out. <laughs> <For> sure, <laughs> you yeah. know, so it's like 
<laughs> it just kind of like opened my eyes that way. I don't know if that's the, if that's the switch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That they always talk about that happens when you like mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But see, create you, life. Yeah, because when you create that that that, that person, man, that's your responsibility. Like, mm-hmm. f- f- niggas say till eighteen, but that's shit forever. Oh yeah, until, for sure. Yeah. Until, until until I'm I'm till I'm out gone to yeah. the next to the next phase of life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he's still here. You know, yeah. thinking about the conversations that we had. Yeah, for sure. But Hell you know, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be a lasting impact no and matter what. Those conversations with your kids are important, bro. So so important, bro. Duh. So important. Like even even as 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 a young as four. Yeah. Like the conversations that my son has, like I love when he just like kind of. I just want to talk to you. Yeah, like, come yeah. On. Like it's just like let me talk, and I'm like, bro, we gotta do this though. Like, I just want to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta appreciate those because like no, my son, I got my son be 16 in a couple of days, mm-hmm. and then my other son is six. And my daughter too, so it's like sometimes they get your nerves talking, but you gotta be like, hey man, you just gotta talk, you just mm-hmm. gotta li- or at least listen. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Let them talk. Cause that's when they start going doing crazy shit, cause they can't talk to their parents. Mm-hmm. They out there getting some motherfucking game from a nigga that ain't supposed to give them a game. Cause, cause it's, ain't no, ain't no point. Cause you, cause you mad, cause you got working, you don't want to talk. Like nigga, exactly. you know how I co- I'm the coldest at he- fake hearing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes like, <laughs> <laughs> like nigga, my son be running his mouth like a motherfucker, dog. And you just be like, I mean, dog, the piss is playing, cause but all right, what up, dog? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, man. Kids is it, man. Kids is it's important, though. Like you learn from them just as much they learn from you, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Speaking of kids in the in the year though, Christmas coming up, dog. Yeah. Give me a poor Christmas story. Poor Christmas story. Yeah, like you wanted this and then. Um. So the one time in my life where like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like where like we was only we was struggling. Like my mama couldn't give me shit on Christmas. Yeah. So like you know it's just like she like I just can't do it. Yeah. I was like. Okay, it's all right. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she, yeah. She, it was all right. And yeah. she was like, all right. And then, but I still got shit because, like, everybody around me, you yeah, know what I'm saying, got uncle, me shit. So it was just like, so I never really, so the one time that was like, I was supposed to have a poor Christmas, yeah, yeah. I never had it. So, like, I, I always, look, at a young age, I learned good good guys get rewarded, bad guys get punished. Mm-hmm. I always was good. Yeah, give me sure. shit. Hell yeah! I ain't, you can't tell me I ain't. I, I don't deserve that. Yeah, because I'm gonna be good. Was there a time you you want something but she got the wrong thing? Like nigga, I always wanted the remote control car. Mm-hmm. My mom give me that remote control with the string attached. Like, come on, mm-hmm. dog. the string attached to the remote control. Oh, I, I wanted a I wanted a fucking pony. <laughs> dog, what? I wanted a pony. I was like three. Duh. I, was, I want a pony. And what she give you, motherfucker? She got me that little rocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch you be rocking on, nigga, living room, dog? Yeah, I was like, I, I want the real one. She yeah. was like, nah. I can't afford that one. The real one. Nigga, I was <laughs> like, oh, that's, uh, that's all I wanted. I didn't really want this one, but thanks. Like, no, nah, during this time, though, dog, it, it be tough. And I realized as I got older, bro, like looking back at, like sometimes my mom being upset, dog, it's tough on parents to, you know what I'm saying, pay bills and. Mm-hmm. And you ain't making the money that you want to make, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 when I think that's when the term it takes a village really yeah. comes into a, For sure. into play because bro, it's not you can't do this shit alone, bro. Like people who are raising kids literally alone, mm-hmm. or who don't have people that can watch them, and they got to do all this other shit, and they don't yeah. have people that can like help yeah. grow and nurture and, and and make sure that that child grows into a fucking functioning adult. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Dog. If you don't have that help, yeah. it's hard as fuck. Yeah. No, it is. You know what I'm saying? It is, bro. It is, and. Sometimes you can't be too prideful to ask for help too, dog. Right. Niggas be having too much pride, dog. Sometimes. Like, bro, come on, man. Put that pride to the side, nigga. You need help, nigga. You over here, you you hurting. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you might if, as well. And it ain't even got to be about money. Like you said, dog. Hey, can you watch kids for a couple hours? I need yep. to just relax. I need to do something. I need you know to what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, I need to take a nap. Exactly, exactly, like, Come on, dog. bro. I need a nap. Like, like, I think when niggas think about help, they just first thing they think about is money. Right. That's like, not. That's not no. about that. Like, like I told you earlier, nigga, going to my in-law's house, nigga, she going to cook us dinner. That's awesome. Like, that's help, nigga. We ain't got to do that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gotta, Watch the kids for a little bit. Me? You know that's, what I'm saying? See, that people need it. So, yeah, you know? man. For sure. Hell yeah, dog. Now, what, what's some shit, man, you um, you learned about yourself, dog? Like, this year? You didn't know you was even capable of this shit. Like, it'd be music-wise, um, life, whatever. Perseverance. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, just feeling like sometimes, you know, when, when it's like... Everything is going bad and everything's against you, but like you still gotta realize that you walk on faith. Yeah, for you know sure. what I'm saying? And yeah. you don't need to like necessarily stress about it and you need to just continue living life. Hell yeah. You know, so I just learned that perseverance is key. Yeah, for sure. You know, so like you need to just don't let 
the present situation, you know, fuck yeah. up from where you really going. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? Yeah, yeah, because depending on what it is, that shit seems like it's gonna take forever to get right. But right, you guys know, like, damn, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna change. It's gonna up, be bro. all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be all right, bro. When nigga like, be broke, nigga, that shit feel forever. Bro, bro. that shit feel like it's gonna, <laughs> like you be broke for three weeks and be like, bro. <laughs> I could like, like this can't this can't happen. Yeah. Like, what, what, what's going on? I gotta go do something. Duh, nigga. That's why you, when you when you in those situations, you gotta stay on social media too, dog. Yep. You gotta, <laughs> stay, you gotta just you gotta just be like I ain't looking at nothing. I, I'm figuring shit out. <laughs> for sure, hell yeah. I gotta figure shit out, dog. For sure, dog. Cause nigga, everything started popping up. Niggas, all the good food coming up on the commercials and shit, dog. You can't afford to go to that bitch. Like, Bruh. dog, it's some bullshit, man. But no, you 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 for sure gonna get through it. Like niggas can't be dwelling on on the on the bullshit because it's happening mm -hmm. right now. Like that's just a part of your story and your journey, dog. Exactly. So yeah. What's some shit that you feel like you that's holding you back though that you that you must change that you still you know what I'm saying I'm still working on? Yeah. Uh, financial literacy. Yeah. Like like saving, budgeting. Yeah. Like I'm so used to I'm so used to living with minimal because of like college. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't understand how to not do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like that. That mindset, I'm working on that. Yeah, man. We that just shit. we just had a conversation about this budgeting and just yeah, man, man, that shit that shit, shit hard, dog. Bro, that shit's stupid, but it's <laughs> smart. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, hell it's yeah. It's just like, bro, I'm fucking. I got it. I'm gonna spend it, and it's just like, nah, bro. You should strategically break this shit down and do this, and it's just like, yeah, but yeah. Did you, did you have somebody in your ear about that shit when you was coming up? Not not uh, necessarily in my ear. Like my mom is a financial wizard. Okay, you feel me? Yeah. Like, she she is a. Uh, she crazy she, she should be an accountant Yeah Like if really she wanted to be She could probably be an accountant You know what I'm saying But she just You know mm -hmm. Keep her household books together Yeah for sure You know what I'm yeah, saying yeah, and, sure. and she does it very Very well Yeah You know yeah. what I'm saying So like it's not like She was in my ear She just did it mm -hmm. And like she never like Talked to me about it You know what I'm saying But like she always told me Just pay your bills Yeah You know yeah, what I'm saying She sure. never like you know, she told me how to. She told me like you should make a budget, and I was like, yeah. And she was just like, just pay your bills. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, if I pay, you know, that's yeah. all I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, when I, you know, yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of times growing up, we don't know about saving. We don't know about credit. No, no. We don't know but, none of that shit. but she did. Uh, when I got my first job, I got paid a hundred dollars like every week or two weeks or some dumb shit. Yeah. I was worked, worked at Kroger. Worst job ever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What um, you worst, worst, worst got bro six fifty and out. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> I only got like a hundred dollars. She yeah. made me put twenty dollars up every check. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So teach she she, she was teaching me about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But sure. at the at the end of the day, I got a lot of my dad tendencies. Cause, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. While she doing all this financial wizardry, yeah. Yeah. he out here doing what the fuck he want to do with yeah. all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga working wizard. In the, in the yeah. same in the same household. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and that's why your mom was a financial wizard. Yeah. Like, all right. Yo, dad gonna be all here doing crazy stuff. So let, let me make sure, yeah, let me yeah. make sure we straight for sure. You feel for me? Sure. You gotta have that, that, like, that's that good teamwork, right? Bro, there. she got it. She got it set up. Like next three years, she about to be making as much money as she made retired as she was working. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man. Like that's how you retire. That's how you're yeah. supposed to retire for in America sure. for real. Hell yeah! Like, but that shit's so hard. Like she spent thirty years at a job. I ain't about to spend thirty years at no job that ain't mine. Man, dog, if it ain't my business, I ain't spending thirty years at it. Cause you gotta think, man. You spend all that time working. By the time you retire, dog, you ain't you ain't got so many like we said, we ain't got so many summers left, dog. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta make sure you 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 put yourself in a situation where you can retire early if you is gonna work for a job. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So and everybody ain't meant to be bosses either though. Nah. Some niggas some nah. <laughs> niggas still got that motherfucking worker mentality but wanna be a boss. Like Yeah. Niggas got, just niggas just want the money. That's what yeah, for like, sure. Like if you can give a nigga a golden ticket to how to get some money. But if you just don't give them the money, they're yeah. going to be mad. Yeah. You feel me? You can give them the whole blueprint. Mm -hmm. You can even give them the equipment. Yeah, for sure. And they're going to be like, bro, where the money at? As soon as, as, soon as it's starting, the money like, just don't flow in. they like, bro, duh. where the money at? Exactly. You that's told what... me you put money in this. Yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah. that's like, nigga, all this shit right here we're using to record this shit. You like, bam. Yeah. It's yours. Yeah. Nigga, I, I said I want, <laughs> I want, it, nigga. I want this money. I want this money, this, nigga. Fuck this mic, nigga. Fuck like, this mic. What the fuck did you give me this for? You know? Yeah. Knowing you can rent this shit out, make money, Bro. and you got to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? But, dog. Uh, that's why like, you got a kid. I know you're going to be in his ear about that shit, about, you know what I'm saying, saving money. Yeah. And I see you got, you know what I'm saying, I, 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 looking at your music and shit, you see how you offend a nip. Yes. And what he going through and shit, like what yeah. he went through and what he did as far as and how he was trying to teach game to us. You know what I'm saying? Back then, before he passed away and shit. Yeah. As far as, you know what I'm saying? Money and being the owner, being a boss, and how to. Fuck you know the middle man. Yeah. He said that in 03. Yeah, yeah for sure. Hell yeah. So, and like I said, every time I started, I wanted to start this podcast a while back, 
Mm-hmm. But it's like when Nip had passed away, I was thinking like, damn, we the same age and the impact that he made. You know what I'm saying? So I'm mm-hmm. like, man, let me let me start doing some shit so I can, you know what I'm saying? Like even if you I made the money, platform. if I made the money off this shit, bro, I always got something that my kids can go back and listen to my voice. Bro, that's what I say about my music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm all about creating. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like that's my message yeah. when it comes to my whole artistry, bro. Like, For sure. Like. Yeah, the music subject matter might be we bitches, Jordans, and tattoos, <laughs> right? Yeah, sure. But at the end of the day, I'm all about creating. Yeah. Right? I'm all about making some shit. I'm all about, you know, doing some shit. If you like some shit, do some shit about it. You know sure. what I'm saying? Create yeah, some yeah. shit. Like, and, and creating don't always have to be like, you know, what you see other people do. You can create in your own way. For sure. You For know? sure. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's my whole message. Yeah, because nowadays, like I said, niggas seeing, all right, bet, and then Fresco doing this shit. He blowing up. Let me do it. Yeah, but you ain't got no interest in this. You loving this shit. I'm just doing it because I see what you getting from it. Yeah, but it, yeah, but sometimes you ain't got to do what other people doing. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. What they doing? Hell yeah, start your just, own little do shit. Do some shit. Yeah, yeah, just do something. <laughs> do something. Like, and that's, that lead me to my next question, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, what you feel your purpose is in life? Like, because when mm-hmm. I say that, I just think about like me being a, I'm a, I coach basketball, right? Mm-hmm. So even though like niggas look at parents and people look at like wins and losses and shit, but my thing is, how have I impacted this one person, maybe out of the 12, and changed him or her whole little thinking? You know what I'm saying? Sorry. If she can come back to me or he can come back to me when she's 19, 20, like, dog, you know what I'm saying? Coach, I appreciate what you did then. That's, to me, that's that's something that I feel like, all right, I changed that one person. I fulfilled the purpose in my life is making somebody better and shit. I got it. I got it. I, I think mine's is a... Uh, um adding to my family's legacy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like I was put here to advance my bloodline mm-hmm. and, my, and my people that's around me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and the people that I was blessed with. Yeah. To, to, to see, I, I saw nothing but positive, uh, you know what I'm saying, family atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? It was yeah. just like very close-knit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And uh, I felt like I was put here to take us to the next level, you know what I'm saying? Taking sure. the, the little bit of wealth that we generated and yeah, we'll to take it to the next level. Yeah, blow that shit up. You feel me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause like, see, thing, at the end of the day, the only thing you got is your name. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's 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 my purpose. Mm-hmm. You know? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Now with the weed, though, do the weed make you think more? Do you always smoke and we talk about shit? Like, do yeah. we ever make you overthink some shit? Sometimes. Certain <laughs> Certain sativas are how you just like thinking about shit, just like, bro, I don't want to think about, about this. Like, come on, think about something else. You know what I'm saying? And that's like, why I knew weed was for me. Because mm-hmm. when I started thinking, I know my wife ain't doing shit. Mm-hmm. When I started thinking about what she could be doing, yeah. why did weed get to me, though? Yeah, like, it's weed fucking with you. <laughs> Hell yeah, like, I remember that one you. time, mm-hmm. she came home five minutes late. Like, like shit make you overthink shit, dog. Yeah. So I applaud the niggas who can smoke and be cool with it. Mm-hmm. I just can't do it, dog. Hey bro, it's okay. I've been doing this a long time. Okay, <laughs> look, my my weed my weed origin and my rap origin kind of like they kind of started at the same time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So it's like they kind of go hand in hand. Yeah. You know. Yo, yeah, yeah. Now with this music shit, with life shit, dog. What's the worst advice or best advice you got? It could be fatherhood, life, advice, school, music. Like, who gave you some bullshit advice? Who gave you ain't got name? Uh, you know, uh-huh. And who gave you the best advice that stuck out? Like damn, like maybe you understand it then, but you understand it now. Um, some of the best advice I got is like from random people. Yeah. Cause uh, I I drive around, uh, I do lifts sometimes, and I just play my songs for random people, and you know, try yeah. to get their opinion. And it's usually some, some some people who like fuck with it, but like want more from it. Mm-hmm. Right, so like this one girl I picked up, and she was just trying to tell me like like yeah, yeah you can rap. I liked it I, like more so. She didn't like the subject matter. She wanted she wanted me to go deeper and shit like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it just kind of made me think more about you know the message and how I can kind of like throw it in there a little more. You for know sure. what I'm saying? Just yeah. a, just a little bit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. Just so people can understand like this is still an art at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. You know, and some of the worst advice I probably got. Um, I don't even be loud. I don't listen to niggas for real. <laughs> so, yeah. so, that boy, yeah. so it's like, I don't even. Sure. You got a thing for like like cars and, and music. Because when you was a valet but, driver, you used to mm-hmm. leave your Vince tapes inside of niggas' cars. Uh, yep. yep. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Shout sometimes. out to my nigga yep. Sean Carlo, mm-hmm. dog. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sometimes I did that. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and it wasn't my it wasn't my music. 
Yeah. I wasn't leaving my CD. Yeah, that's when you was on your... I was leaving, I was leaving his CD. Yeah, that's there. when you was on your executive yeah, producer yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. On, I was like, hey, just fuck it. Yeah. Now, I, I was in, that was out in Florida passing down burn CDs of his yeah, shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like... Bro, fuck, it was, I, was, it, I fucked the bitch just off of, off of me having the CDs and shit like that and talking like I was a big-ass... Executive producer, money yeah. making ass nigga, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was it was great. How'd that go? Like, what what was the conversation like? How, how uh, leads to you hitting it, bro? It was it was crazy, bro. I was I, uh, <laughs> my cousin, it was, my cousin. Uh, shout out to my cousin. Yeah. He lived out in Florida, right? right? And we went down there for uh, mine and my other little cousin' birthday. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And when I got down there, I'm like, damn, I need some weed. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I'm like. 29. So yeah. at this point, I've been smoking every day for the past for two sure. years. Yeah, yeah, you know sure, what I'm saying? For sure. you so, need that shit. so, for some reason, I'm looking at my cousin's phone and a girl texts him about how she's about to get high. Yeah. And I'm just like, look at God. Yeah, yeah, for right? sure. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're a good person, God. Like, look, okay. So I. I text her like, hey, my cousin needs some. Yeah. Like, my cousin don't know I'm texting her, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know the relationship that my cousin has with this woman. Yeah. All I know is this woman has weed and, and I need, need weed. Yeah. Right? So I'm trying to give him the weed. Yeah. Right? So... I hit her up and she tell me how much it was. I'm like, bet, give me that. Yeah. Right? So I don't even know where the fuck she came from, but apparently she came kind of far. Yeah. But she pulled up, mm. sold us the weed. I thought she was going to leave. Mm. She stayed. Yeah, kid. But she fine. Yeah. You feel me? And this ain't your, co- co- your cousin girl. Name my cousin girl. Okay, he bet. was trying to get on, yeah. but it wasn't really working. You feel me? <laughs> it, 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 it's just what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, so, but she wanted to smoke. Yeah. So I was just like, all right, fuck it, you can smoke with me. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? And we got to just talking and everything like that. And then like after like a fucking seven hour conversation yeah. in my cousin's challenger, yeah. right? Wasn't my you my car. I was in my cousin's challenger. Yeah. She knew it was his car. car. Yeah. But we were sitting there talking all night. And at the end of the night, yeah. I hit and my cousin was in the room. Yeah. Hurt. Hurt. <laughs> he tried to join and she would she didn't want him to. It was, Hell no, it, it was it was it was awkward, but it was like, hey. Yeah. Like, no, did he join, like, mid, like... Yeah, it was, it was funny. Like, it was funny. My turn, like, 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 she was just like, no. Yeah. They walk out, like, they walk of shame and shout uh, that bitch, dog. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I just, like, it was like, it was like, we was in a room with, like, it was like a suite. Yeah. So it had two bedrooms and then a, another living area with, like, a pull-out bed and shit like that. Yeah. So we had this bitch with, like, you know, two queen-size beds in it. Yeah, yeah, You feel sure. me? So it was like, he was really, like, right there. Yeah. And he just, like... He like, damn, nigga, I've been working this shit for, <laughs> for a month, dog. <laughs> this nigga also weed, and he <laughs> pretend to be bourbon in this bitch. This <laughs> nigga... <laughs> smash my motherfucking one thing, dog. <laughs> Hey, but that's why I, I learned the lesson. Never, ever send somebody to talk to a chick for you. Because mm-hmm. I ain't had that shit happen to me. Like, my homeboy, like, dog, tell her I want to hit it. Tell him, get on shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, my nigga want to get on. Like, well, shit, I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, what oh, up, though? Well, yep. Like, yep. hey, man, what happened? Hey, she wanted, to, she wanted my number, because, like, my bad. <laughs> like, like, oh, nigga. bro, you a hoe. Yeah, is that how I'm a hoe? <laughs> you the hoe, because you ain't go. <laughs> exactly, dog. I learned a long time not to go ahead and do that shit, bro. Yeah, but I wasn't even trying to. I really just wanted some weed. Yeah, yeah. You Can- feel me? Because, like, then, like, I wouldn't even. <laughs> the first night I didn't even hit Then I called her back again Because I needed some more weed yeah. And the second night I actually hit mm-hmm. but, Can you uh Can you cuff a chick That you hit so quick that Is it that, potential that, that, like, that just That just showed me That, she, that that's what she want <laughs> yeah, You know what I'm saying Like I, I don't You never think like Nah Like like, whatever. every time she ain't done this Whatever <laughs> I'm not worried about that Exactly Because at, at the end of the day If we gonna be together yeah. For the, whatever time period We gonna be together We gonna be together Like yeah. I ain't you you know yeah for sure it. hell yeah I'm dog. not worried about you doing none of that yeah do for what sure. you gonna do yeah hell yeah dog. <laughs> cause I leave yeah exactly <laughs> bye yeah I ain't got the, yeah they can say ain't nothing hold me back ain't no shackles and shit dog nah. shout out to Charles Barkley whole ass yeah God, yeah, yeah. No that's all that shit <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker talk all that shit about Kyrie man sometimes I'm, him and Shaq I ain't never up. I ain't never seen that one at uh at Joe D you know how Joe D's had a sports illustration yeah. I I I used to steal those that, for real yeah dog bro. Had so many all the Jordan was yeah. you, you noticed they was all gone. <laughs> I think it was taking me, the me and my me and my crew. Was, you still got the bitches? Yeah, we got a lot the of bitches gonna be worth something, nigga. Mm-hmm. See, I remember that one on um, the Jordan rules. That was the one my dad had. Damn, mm-hmm. I wish I knew where that shit was at. Bro. Fuck, man. That shit yeah. I know that shit worth some money. Dog, but shit, man, fuck that. I don't wanna talk about that shit because there's a lot of shit that I know I had that's worth money, dog. Yeah. Basketball cars, nigga. Bro, I don't wanna talk about it either. <laughs> no. Man, I, my grandma gave away my Pokemon collection. Oh, them bitches were I seen oh somebody sell one bro. for like niggas something crazy. Bro, look, recently, dog. Look, bro, I had I had so many good ones. Yeah. Right? That are probably like all now probably worth at least 
you know, ten, five to ten thousand dollars probably, damn. and she gave them to the little boy down the street <laughs> just because I wasn't playing with him no more. Cause, damn, cause she, man, yeah, that should be worse though, dog. I had my right, fuck, I love you, grandma. I had really, <laughs> dog. My, I love you, grandma. When my mom and dad broke up, dog. He had took the cars and. When he passed, I'm like, what my fucking... I, I, of course, I, I'm about to sound like I ain't give a fuck about him passing away. I was hurt. But I'm like, where the fuck my basketball cards at, dog? I had rookie Lou Alcindor, dog, before he was mm. even Kareem. Oh, come on, man. I had Kobe rookie card, dog. Oh. T, like, nigga, the whole... Man, fuck this. Man. <laughs> I'm hurt. Uh, yeah. Dog, that should be worth we, so much right we, now. We love y'all, but God damn it. Yeah, that should hurt, dog. <laughs> Now, dog, growing up, bro, like, you from Finkel, right? Hell yeah. Yeah, man, I tried to do my research. Hey, you, look, bro. hey, bro, look, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah. Loving the research. Yeah, yeah. Loving the research. You know what I'm saying? Talk about uh, growing up, man. Who was in the crib? You said moms and pops, they still together? Yep, mom and pops oh, still shit, together. Oh, shit, man, salute them, for been real. Been together for, shit, damn near 40 years. Damn, that's what's um, up. We're talking I, about growing up and who was in the crib. I grew up I, I, in a very unique situation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my mom and dad was in the house, and my grandma and granddad. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So mm -hmm. like, that's old school. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I haven't seen it <laughs> in any you know other family for real. <laughs> so, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like did that, but it was like more than enough room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it was our block was unique because uh, by the time I was ten years old, we was the only house on the block. Okay. Um, but it was like right next to a church. Yeah. And uh, so like all growing up in high school, you know, literally. The homies would just come over to my house because we was a long house on the block, so yeah. we really could kind of like make a little noise yeah, and like you know sure. what I'm saying. Really yeah. like, you know what I'm saying. Too much shit going on, but um, my grandma was a very uh, influential person. For sure, you know, I spent a lot of time with her. Yeah. You know, uh, she, you know she she was uh, she was the homemaker. You yeah. know what I'm saying. So she was the one who took me to school and did everything. Sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Good uh, meals. Yeah, all of that. You're blessed with two all people. Like but, 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 but but no. That's the thing. Like my, my mom could do, you know, what she needed to do to keep the, you know, the lights on and do all that. Cause she was really one of the only ones working. Like yeah. her and my dad was the only, you know, they was working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Need to get the lights on. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm sure. saying? So they can work, and yeah. I'm here with, you know. Yeah. Grandma and granddad, we chilling. Hell you know yeah, what I'm saying? for sure, for sure. Hell yeah, ain't was, nothing like it. It was just amazing. Yeah. You know, so it was it was, it was pretty unique mm -hmm. in that sense. And uh, you got siblings? Nope, just me. Oh shit. Yeah. How was that? Would you I, like just niggas with brothers and sisters up? Uh, <laughs> like for hell no. Nah. Cause I knew y'all had to share shit. <laughs> hell yeah, for sure. Like I knew, I knew if I was, like I said, if I knew if I was good, I get anything I want. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like I had cousins and shit. That was you know pretty much like my brothers. Yeah. You know we grew up together. You know they would they would come over. We you know we all of that. You yeah. know, but at the end of the day, when it came to like my parents mm -hmm. having to get me shit, yeah. it was just like. I'm the only one. Yeah, got, for sure. Hey, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta it was, worry about it was nothing. Great. Yeah, it was yeah. great. All I had to do is do what I needed to do. Man. And I can get everything I wanted. Every I mean, Jordan, yeah. every motherfucking uh, video game. Video game hey, anything I wanted. It, Nigga, you get the pizza, you ain't got to share that bitch. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't got to share. Like, duh. I got a bump bag just because I wanted one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, this month I'm sleeping on top. Like, you feel me? Uh, I'm going to switch this shit up, man. <laughs> Next next month I'm sleeping on the bottom, sleep yeah. that way. Like, but I'm quite sure it probably like you growing up, you know, saying no sibling, that probably is, oh, yeah. that probably got you some good relationships as far as like brotherhood with friends and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, I got a I got a great group of, uh, of guys that that I call brothers. You yeah, know what I'm saying for it, sure. It was funny growing up. I was always trying to hang out with my older cousins. He was like he two years older than me. Yeah. And my mama wouldn't want me to hang out with him. And yeah. She was like, why you why you? Yeah, for and sure. I'm like. I'm like, mom, why, why you want to me hang out with him? Yeah. And she was like, well, you're going to have your own friends one day. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm never going to have my friends. <laughs> sure. I'm never going to have friends, mom. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? I'm mad as hell. <laughs> then about two years later, I fucking run and meet yeah. the fucking goofiest, dumbass niggas. Dog, you know well, what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah. I ever met. That, be, you dog. know what I'm saying? That yeah. I still motherfucking hang out with to this day. For sure. You hell know? yeah. Hell yeah. That's dope, dog. That's dope, dog. Yeah, because ain't nothing like it, though. You watch TV, like, let your little brother watch some TV. Like, damn. Oh, yeah, no, never that. Let him play a game for a little bit. Like, never fuck. that. Like, even right now, for Christmas, nigga, my oldest son got a PS5. Uh -huh. That's what, my six year old, I got to buy him one. Because he can't play, he can't play all this one game. What? Uh, I got two of them bitches now. Look at that. Look, I got one. He, he <laughs> play mine. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He play mine. Hell yeah. Now, dog, as far as, like, your music, usually we get our musical, um, our musical taste from our parents. Yeah. People around us, mm -hmm. like, 
at a young age, who was the people you was loving just because mom and dad or grandma and granddad? Tupac they... and DMX. That was the two? Tupac, DMX, uh, B.B. King from my grandma. Yeah. Um, my mama really didn't listen to music like that. She just kind of like, in passing, and if it's on, she listening, but she ain't going to just turn no music on. Mm -hmm. um, my granddad, not either. Yeah. But my dad played a lot of Tupac and DMX. And For sure. That's who I listen to a lot. What's, what's your and favorite? What's your favorite Tupac album? Favorite Tupac album, yeah. the Greatest Hits album. Oh, Greatest Hits one. That's the because that's the one he played the most. Like yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, like yeah. I'm five, six years old. Yeah, you know for what sure. I'm saying? Young as hell. Young as hell, and this is you know yeah. this is what he playing. Like, I was sure. born '91, so when he when he died, I was like five, six. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So like. I knew he died, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like my dad playing his music, and I'm just like, this shit cold. So that's all I needed. I said, I don't even need to go listen to that album. Yeah. I got his greatest hits albums. Yeah, that, shit, yeah. that shit, two albums in itself. Duh. What and, the fuck? And, <laughs> and Tupac DMS, it's like when Tupac passed, DMS came out, I was like, nigga, like, yeah, DMS like, was that nigga, dog. Bro, bro. What was that nigga, two, man? Two, two platinum albums in one, one year. One year, nigga. Like, come on, bro. Nigga dropping. Who did it? Nigga, no, shit, nobody. X. My nigga, no fire. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, Duh. come on, growl at you, nigga. Have me, you about, oh, I'm you, seven years old, barking nigga, at niggas. A unique sound, nigga. Ain't nigga. That's oh, like a chihuahua. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the most unique nigga ever as far as a rapper, bro. Bro, that nigga, that bitch amazing, actually barking, bro. nigga. And nigga, then he get, then he'll stop and start praying to you. Exactly. And exactly. then he'll hit you with a whole different voice and come like this. Exactly, dog. <laughs> you feel me, and, nigga? Like, bro, that nigga. Because I didn't know until I got older bro. as a kid. I didn't. I'm like, I didn't know it was him doing those voices. Bro, that nigga, amazing, bro. Dog. That nigga, amazing, bro. Nigga, Oh, dog, man. Rest and, DMS, and storytelling dog. that bro that like when it comes to like rap that's one of my niggas like oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll listen to him to that to this day for sure man rest in peace and then Tupac right. it, yeah. it, he, him and Biggie is like it's crazy how like niggas yeah is. I didn't listen to Biggie until I was uh, older and shit. because of the fact that I listened to Tupac so, Tupac so much as a kid yeah. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. Boogie, fuck Biggie fuck my Hell yeah, hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah that's how I felt yeah for sure dog shout out to them niggas dog like, and that's, that's when I say like niggas they put some work out here for real that they can be talked about 20, 30 years after they yeah. left this earth, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit is amazing. And still, still be, you know what I'm saying? Play, you can still hear him in the summertime, nigga. Like, that shit crazy, bro. That yep. shit crazy. Nigga, because you don't realize how long Tupac been dead till you really think about it. Like, God damn, it's 2020, 20, basically three. Yep. He been dead since 96. Yep. And niggas still talk about that nigga. Like, when you talk rap, you still bring them niggas up, dog. And them niggas was both young as fuck when they yep. passed away, nigga. They wasn't even. What mid tw mid twenties twenty four twenty five come on 25, man uh, that shit crazy dog nigga and then Biggie this nigga a uh, fucking one of the bro. best rappers ever off bro, of one album for le real legendary <laughs> legendary nigga flows. dropped one album nigga legendary was, flows nigga stamp nigga off that one shit mm -hmm. niggas bought a thousand albums Ron, and still be trash Ron Pattern still <laughs> studied to this day man <laughs> hell yeah dog to this hell day, yeah, I saw dog. I saw a motherfucking Vox do a uh, a whole breakdown of like writing and shit like that, man, and they broke bro. down Biggie shit and talked about why 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 it was so fucking awesome. And it was like, yeah. Now I know for a fact Biggie probably would have still been rapping views a lot, but Tupac would have been done just been on his motherfucking. Yeah, yeah. He been Lucas. Let's, yeah, let's get <laughs> let's been, get the world right, dog. Like Luda you know Chris what I'm saying? And, yeah, dog. Yeah, some other he would, shit. He would for sure would been motherfucking won some awards for his acting, dog. Yeah. And he would just I think he would just nigga switched up and just been, would have been behind the movement trying to make us better as, as the people, people and shit. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, dog. Nah, dog, when you was growing up, you was, I know you went to Renaissance and shit, hooping yep. and shit. Mm -hmm. and Mr. Lay, you said Layup Line King and shit, dog. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was my, <laughs> uh, my, my basketball my basketball journey is a, is a great one. You talk about that shit there real uh, quick. It's a great one. Uh, <laughs> they say Mr. Layup Line. Mr. Layup Line. That was, that was, that was, that was uh, 11th grade. Yeah. You know, in 12th grade, I actually played, so I didn't, I wasn't Layup Line. No more. <laughs> yeah, you was in but, that bitch, yeah. But uh, growing up, my cousin, uh, he wanted, he was the, the like, the Allen Iverson type, you know what I'm saying? Okay. He was, you know, the, the, the bucket getter for yeah. our, for our roles, you mm -hmm. know, every time we went to hoop, you, when you hoop, you supposed mm -hmm. to have roles, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you must know what you supposed to do well and go do it. For sure. And my role was to go do everything yeah. else. Yeah, niggas didn't want to do and shit. Everything else. I mean, go check that nigga, like, I literally, it was literally a whole day. We, we, so it was a whole, a whole day of <laughs> us running up and down the court at Joe D where he, he sent me on a double team wherever the ball went. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, I was and we were and, and we were winning though because yeah. I was out there active like that. Yeah. Because like it, it, they did they didn't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I had niggas like they would play defense, nigga. Who play for real defense? Bro. <laughs> Goddamn. Come so, on. So, but that was I was so tired. But he was scoring all the points, right? He would go. He would score 15 of our of our points, and I would have been out here breathing like this. Like you was going. To <laughs> like what the fuck? 
right? So that was that was my whole beginning phase of basketball, yeah. right? So I didn't know nothing about the offensive end. Yeah. I didn't know about scoring. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't dribble. Yeah. Okay? I didn't shoot. Yeah. You I just played defense. Defense, man. Nigga. I just played defense, okay? Uh, so ninth grade, I got cut. I didn't make the team. Yeah. Right? 10th grade, I made JV. Average a double double, yeah. right? But I played center and I was only six feet. Yeah. But I played center because I had no other skills. I couldn't bring the ball to court. I couldn't yeah. dribble yeah. like that. Would like, and then I didn't work on any of those things because I, like, I worked on dribbling, but I didn't work on actually like being a guard. Yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah, getting uh, out that shit, getting out. Yeah. Right. So tenth grade, I'm still playing center. You know, eleventh grade comes, whole new coaching staff comes in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, what's gonna happen? Yeah. Am I gonna make on the team? Because I was just on JV, yeah. like, and this nigga don't have no loyalty towards me. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? He don't know who the yeah. fuck I am. I, I'm not gonna make the team. Yeah. This is fucked up, right? Yeah, for sure. So uh, <laughs> one day in the summertime, 11th grade, I call my man's Lano, and I'm like, Lano, bro, what's up? Where you? What you doing? I'm bored. He's mm-hmm. like, shit, I'm about to go to summer league. Mm-hmm. I said, shit, can I come? Mm-hmm. He said, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, cause Lano was that nigga, right? Yeah. Lano, Lano, uh, Delano Collins. If you if you a hoop nigga, you know Delano. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that nigga was a freshman on our uh, state cha- uh, champion team in 06. Okay. He was the only freshman to start on varsity. Yeah. You know what Boy. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, but he was like, yeah, come on. Yeah. He picked me up. We went to, we went to summer league. He told coach, hey, this is my man's real. Mm-hmm. He playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. And coach was like, all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, coach, shout, shout out to coach Cam. He was like, all right. Yeah. And then, you know. Put me out there. He thought I was gonna be like a guard type shit. And first thing I did, I went out there and post the nigga up. Yeah. You feel me? Because I've been working on that. Like, you, center, you feel me? I've been playing center, nigga. That's all I, that's all I fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga looking like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, give to here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show you something. Exactly. You feel me? But then, like, you know, after a while, he, he liked the energy. He let me, you know, I made the team 11th grade. That's why I was Mr. Layup. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and then 12th grade, I was like, hey, man, all these seniors leaving. Mm. Like, I want to play and make a and make an impact. Make yeah, an impact. Like what? Sure. What can I do? Yeah. And he was like, "Shit, learn how to shoot. Yeah. Uh, motherfucking, uh, don't be afraid to shoot. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's and do everything you've been doing. Yeah. And I was like, "All right, bet." Yeah. He was like, "If you want to work on your shot, come on." Yeah. He worked on my shot, and going into my 12th grade year, I told him all I want to do is make a all I want to do is make a, a highlight tape, bro. Yeah, for sure. All I want is a highlight tape. And with that intention, going into my senior year, I made it enough for a three minute highlight tape, yeah. and that three minute highlight tape got me a scholarship to play basketball. Damn. You feel me? Yeah, so yeah. it's like yeah. I felt like my whole bas- my my whole basketball journey came full circle from from listening to all these motherfuckers at the at the uh, the camps tell you like this ball can take you anywhere, right? <laughs> like, it's like oh shit, it can. <laughs> Like, these niggas were lying. Yeah, them niggas for real. You know, and then, like, my whole journey in college just, like, shifted because it went crazy because, like, I'm, you know, this whole time I've been a center, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, them niggas was like, what the fuck is you talking yeah, about? You know, no. get yeah, your yeah. ass out there learn how to dribble. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. So, like, I spent pretty much my whole freshman year adapting to that. Yeah. And then my sophomore year, my sophomore year of college, you couldn't know, but you couldn't tell me nothing. You couldn't tell me I wasn't J.R. Smith. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd kill it, though. You feel me? You couldn't tell me I wasn't, I wasn't him. Yeah. You feel man. me? I don't give a fuck who out there, who on the gym. I don't give a fuck who on the court. I'm locking you up because that's yeah. what I do for yeah. sure. So I'm locking whoever up. Yeah. So you can be an overseas nigga like these. This defense is yeah. crazy right now. Oh yeah, to this day, <laughs> yeah. to this day. That nigga Deontay Wilder, bro. Nigga. I, if there's one thing I can do in a basketball court, yeah, it's play defense, league. bro. Man, if, I, it's, if my shot off, yeah. if I miss some layups, yeah. bro, you clamping. I'm like, I'm locking you. I'm, you not gonna bust my ass yeah. though. <laughs> dog, I miss being able to play basketball, dog. Yeah, at, at oh, this yeah. her age, nigga, I just bro, hurt, dog. Yeah, bro, at, at, I hurt too much, dog. Bro, especially when you play it at like a certain competitive level, yeah. it's like it's hard to just go out there and play rec ball because yeah. like. Ugly basketball is is hard to watch and it's and it's dangerous. Niggas get hurt. You go, you it's like I'm I'm not I'm not trying to do that, no, right? I'm not sure trying to, hurt, I'm not though. chilling with like I'm not trying to nigga, go you for sure you know, twist an ankle, nigga, on yeah, somebody. So like, we, we're, we're all not like understanding of, of the yeah, moment and what's sure. going on and we're all not all not locked in. Yeah. Like I'm not really trying to do all that. Man, you last, know? last time I hooped at uh, uh LA dog. Bros. I'm like, nigga, this nigga was shooting this bitch and he just kept missing. Ugliest jump, bro. Give me a fucking ball, man. <laughs> like this is, bro, this is ugly. Thing, bro, bro, I canceled a whole membership to Lifetime. I started membership to Lifetime, bro. <laughs> Literally, I, 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 
The second time I went up there, bro, I go set a screen, right? I set a screen. My man's get open, hit a three. I'm like, hell yeah. He's like, that's an illegal screen. You can't do that. I said, what the fuck do you mean I can't do that? He said, you, you can't put your hands right there and, and stand there. I said, yes, I can. What the fuck you talking about? You stupid. No, hell I literally man. took my ball. Left, can't and, and, and I just I'm walking there, like, bro. I, got, I need my I need my money back, bro. I can't play with the y'all niggas, bro. I can't play with them. No, cause most niggas who get them LA Fitness and shit uh, a lifetime, they they get the membership just to hoop, bro. Yes, and that's what I call myself doing. But then the nigga, the gym. That's how I knew I wasn't in love with basketball no more, bro. I used to hoop all the time, every day. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I, Sunday with these niggas, they be calling me Speedy. Nigga, I be here uh, Basketball City. I used to go there all the time. Mm -hmm. I go to Joe D right there on 15. Like, nigga, we used to hoop all the fucking time. Yep. But then it just nigga came a point in time, nigga. That shit just like nigga, it wasn't fun no more, dog. Mm -hmm. Like then I couldn't, dog. You call next nigga, it's like a thousand niggas with next. Like man, fuck this shit, man. Fuck back. I'm gonna go. Then we go lift some weights, nigga. Run this treadmill, nigga. Like let me use yeah. my membership wisely, nigga. Go swim, nigga. Yeah, no, nah, man. It's like if you don't know, if you don't get like like exclusive runs or like yeah. runs of like good. If you can't get yeah. no good runs, man, there ain't no point. I want to run with getting... twenty niggas and it's the same twenty niggas that yeah. go every Sunday, nigga. Yeah, that's the type. Of, that's the type of run. <laughs> so I'm playing, nigga. If I got a bad day, and I want niggas that can hoop, but I want niggas that think they're going to the league. Yeah, and niggas, niggas who think they're going to the league or shit or shit like that, they be mad at you if you miss a shot. Like, man, fuck you, <laughs> give my motherfucking ball, nigga. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> Tired of you. Hell yeah, dog. So, your, nigga, so at the college, like, did you ever have like, all right, I want to go overseas and hoop, like, mm -mm. it was, it was like nah. college, and then all right, I'm done. Yeah, it was like, it was college, and it was like, all right, that's yeah. that's enough. Mm -hmm. You feel me? <laughs> I played, I played uh, in the rec. Uh, once I transferred from Davenport, I left after two years. Yeah, I played in the wreck every night, you know, yeah. all the time. But it was, it was just like, yeah, yeah, man. Like it's, it's cool. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like, cool. I was like, I'm gonna watch you now and like, coach. I'm yeah, like yeah, that's really yeah. what it is. I really want to get into coaching. I wanna, I wanna start an AAU program and shit like that. Yeah. Only thing about AAU dog, oh, it's just so the politics and that. I know, shit, I know. But at the end of the day, if you, if you running it, yeah, and if you, and if you the machine behind it, yeah, and you, yeah. and you know, you got good intentions, and yeah. you ain't gonna do nothing shady, you ain't gonna do nothing crazy, sure. and ain't gonna make sure that. These kids yeah. get what they need with exactly. this exposure and and fundamental training and learning how to win be good. and win the right way yeah. and pass and and do and, and learn roles and and understand that you know certain skill set uh, uh, lend towards certain roles. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, until you learn until you get those skills, you can't be out here trying to do that. Yeah, for sure. And I definitely I don't want no uh I want no high school punks. As far as like me, no, me, I want to, I want to bring, bring them up. Yeah, I want the young ones. I want to bring them up. Give me, give me some fourth, fifth graders in this yeah, yeah. who can understand dribbling, mm -hmm. but they still need like you know, what I'm saying you to be on their head. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody after eighth grade, dog. I don't want mess with them punks, man. They some punks, man. Them little high school punks, dog. Them niggas come on. Shout out to my cousin. I be helping her. Mm -hmm. First off, they right. ain't been cool. Like they just like I like like our coach said. Shout out to uh, Academy of Warren. Right. Like I coach girls and I be roasting them. They roast me back and talk about me being bald head nigga and shit like mm -hmm, that. Dog, mm -hmm, I talk mm -hmm. about them. It be cool. It's a cool practice. These little niggas, they they from Bloomfield. They got too good to crack jokes on. And I'm like, y'all, man, I don't want to coach with y'all no more. Oh. <laughs> I'm gone, man. Oh. <laughs> my, even my son be like, man, they, like he he played with them, but then he be like, it's so different playing with his school and playing with them. Like your surroundings is important. Whatever you do, yes, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you gonna have a good time practice, then that's gonna Translate to the games and shit. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna have a good chemistry, bro. It's all about it's all about fun. That's 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 and, sure. and, and that's what they always. Do and that's say. what I mean. I be coaching like dog. This shit ain't fun at all. With these <laughs> oh, <laughs> these yeah, little niggas see, too nah. too stuck up, dog. Nah, like nah, they got they got to chill out. I need some hood dudes, but still like they hood. They still understand though. Like they still gonna listen and have a good time, bro. Right. Right. I don't want nobody who who parents is rich them up. They just like nigga got. They just feel like they oh I, I don't don't joke with me don't no don't talk don't to me like that don't talk me don't talk yeah. about me I'm yeah. tell my mom yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> now with music bro I know you start off you wasn't the rapper you like you was trying to get Carlo on and shit like that hell yeah so once once what what was the breaking point you like shit I want to do music my damn self like was it seeing him in the studio or other people in the studio that you wanted to go ahead and dabble into it. No, I nigga stop making music like like I wanted them to make music. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I was on that nigga head like nigga, why you ain't in the studio? What the fuck is up? What the what's, what's going on? He was like, bro, I need to live life. And then I'm like, man, shut the fuck up, right? I know knowledge ass nigga. You, nigga, know? you nigga, feel bro. me? Like, I'm like, bro, make some music, nigga. Like, yeah. come on, what's going on? What you yeah. need? Like, what you wait? What you want from me? What you want me to do? And he was like, oh, no, man, I'm just chilling. And I'm just like, all right. Yeah. So like one of the last albums that like I kind of helped on, but I really didn't really help was like breadcrumbs of his. Mm -hmm. Um. And at like you know, after that point, I'm like, come on, 
what's up? What you yeah. doing? And he just wasn't doing nothing. So it was like, you know what? Did that kind of like kind of did that kind of like mess with our friendship a little bit? Or no. y'all still cool? No, no, that's my brother. Yeah, because you know how some people are like, dog, what the fuck? No, like, no, that's you know my saying? brother. Like, and and you know, looking back on it, it was probably the best thing for him. You know what I'm saying? He picked up a couple new crafts. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He he learned more about himself. You know what I'm saying? So like, sure. at the end of the day, I understand now. Like especially now that I do it, yeah. right? Now that I make music, I understand that sometimes you gotta too much, to yeah. let the shit to let the shit flow right. Yeah. You gotta be in the right space, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and sometimes that that happens when you live life a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, like, but once he kind of stopped needing me, and I'm just like, fuck it, I'm gonna rap. Mm-hmm. And then really, at first I was gonna be like a little B ass nigga, right? Yeah. And I was gonna come on, just freestyle everything. Yeah. Like just like fuck it. Yeah. And then like at that point, I had to be like a, a social media like. Entity at mm-hmm. that point, if you, when you do shit like that, yeah. like to push that type of you shit, be out there, yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, I don't know, you want to do that, right? Yeah. And it's <laughs> like, and I'm, and I'm like, oh, fuck all that. And then Carlo was like, yeah, bro, you don't want to do that. And I'm <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. So, and then I looked at motherfuckers uh, that I really looked up to, like, mm-hmm. like currency. Yeah. You know I what I'm t- saying? See, I knew it. Like, you seen like a currency, Larry Jones. Like, yeah, and it's like, bro, if I can just find a find me a a gang of motherfuckers that really fuck with what I'm doing, mm-hmm. I can continue giving them that shit. And continue fuck with what I'm doing. Mm. Every time I do something new, they fuck with it. I'm straight. Yeah. And in the, and at the end of the day, I'm all about creating, bro. Cause when I when I think of an idea, and I'm able to articulate that to somebody like a whole a whole nigga a whole producer yeah. who can make all that shit happen, and I can put it out for the world to listen to. At the end of the day, I'm done with that. Yeah, for like, sure. Like the idea went from my head to the world. Yeah, yeah that yeah. shit's sweet. Nigga, I'm, I'm, yeah, I think sure. I'm gifted. Do you, do you give a fuck about what people think nope. about with your music? Is <laughs> that shit quick as hell? Yeah, no. <laughs> it ain't for you then. Yeah, do you, you ever take? Sleep. Now, do you ever take? Like you say, oh girl, it was like you should just go a little deeper. No, that, that's that was good criticism. Yeah, do you ever take that and like? Mm-hmm. All right, bet. I'm yeah, a, I'm a, next I, project, I'm gonna do this. Oh, you know, uh, I keep it in mind. Yeah, you know, when, like when I'm writing, you know, because my writing process has changed throughout my. Rap career because literally I went like I like I said my origin starts us rapping in the car. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that was it. Yeah. We we I, I would have downloaded twenty motherfucking beats from LimeWire, mm-hmm. right? I have them on my iPad. Mm-hmm. I mean on my iPod, and uh, I'd be like, all right, come on, and everybody being a bit scared, right? Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. be scared. Like, nobody yeah. want to go first. Everybody yeah. scared to be ass, yeah. right? <laughs> Everybody, cause, cause we ain't rappers, yeah. right? Everybody scared. I'm like, all right, fuck it, I go first, yeah. right? Bring the energy. Uh-huh. Not everybody want to rap now, exactly, right? Exactly. So now at the, at the end of the day, I ended up having to go first all the time. Yeah. So, uh, you know, just motherfucking. I don't even forget what I'm blowing. <laughs> 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 hey, you know how you be forget that you try to get deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get deep real quick. Yeah, like hold on. He's like, hold on, wait. What's fuck I want to say? <laughs> like, why we get a little deep, little philosophy out here? Yeah. You just talking about being the nigga in the car rapping oh, first yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah, that, that's, oh. it. that's it. That's it. I just right first. <laughs> nigga try to get deep, I'm like, dog. Yeah. Hey, that's when you know when you fucked up, you be being in a conversation like, damn, what the fuck is this conversation going, dog? Uh-huh. That's uh-huh. how I know. I, like, see, that's why I can't smoke, dog. <laughs> like, cause then I would got scared if I was you. See? <laughs> like, see? Like, you laughed it off, I would be scared, like, dog. I'm tripping, dog. Nope. I'm just not tripping. I'm just not blood. Oh, no. And then we, we started from saying, like, you don't give a fuck about what people think about your music. And oh, shit yeah. Like cause, oh, yeah. Because, look, they, everybody's scared to be yeah, ass. Yeah, I was yeah. ass. I got us back right. right. I was ass. There you yeah. go. You got us back right. Yeah. I was ass. Right? So it was like, fuck it. I don't care. Mm. But I'm doing this and I, and I brought the energy. So now yeah. we realize that Carl can rap. Yeah. Right? So yeah. then now that's when we push that and, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, put then, it all behind him. And then, uh, Working with Carlo, I learned how to fucking make a song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. And it's just like, oh, that's how, that's how you make yeah. a song? Yeah. If easy. y'all hear that shit, people, that's great to have that burning food and shit, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we in the hood with it, dog. Yeah. You already know what it is. You already know. Hell yeah, but, dog. But, you know, working with Carlo showed me that process of actually making a song, mm-hmm. which I think helped with my foundation. Because now, like, I feel like if there's one thing I can't do is, like, I can yeah. make a song sound good. For sure, for sure, man. And, and it you, comes from working with him. And you and drop some good shit. Like, I, I listened to uh, Blockbuster. That shit was hard. Thank you. But I, I really fuck with this one, dog. You, what you just dropped. Uh, Thoughts After Dropping 50. Yeah. And one thing I do realize about your shit, bro. What's that? Is that your covers be hard as hell. Thank you, sir. Do you really, like, look into some shit? Like, back in the day, we had, like, the No Limit covers. Yeah. Cash Money covers. No, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Covers was that everything. Was, that, was, that was big for me. Uh, also, with my dad. Yeah. He, he, played, he played a lot of that New Orleans shit. New Orleans. New Orleans and the West Coast was real big for me. I didn't really get the... Uh, BG. You used to have some dope-ass yeah, covers. Bro, yeah. All of that. Shout all, out with, to BG. With the fire in the back. You know what yeah. I'm saying? All, all that shit look, look like 
flyers. Yeah. So yeah. are you really conscious about like, damn, how the album gonna cover gonna look to even just get your attention by just looking at this shit? You know what I'm saying? Um, I got. I'm conscious because I want all of the albums to kind of like look not similar, but like look like they belong together. Yeah. So once I realized I was gonna go with the animated theme. I just make sure I just tapped in with with certain animators and yeah. like build a build a report with them so it looks like a good collection. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Then blockbuster um, shit like that shit hard. Like you got the blockbuster out there, mm-hmm. and I, I know I heard you on uh, on another podcast say like the, the uh, each song was named after you know what I'm saying movie you were yep. from blockbuster and shit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I, I I like how you it's not like you think behind your shit, not just put it out. Yeah, and that and that comes from being on a on that side with working with Sean. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I wasn't actually writing raps. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing all that, but Sean would come give me raps and say, What do you what name would you think about this yeah. and what do you think about this? And I would mm-hmm. give him certain ideas and you know what I'm saying? He would take some, not use some and whatever, you know what I'm saying? But For it sure. was a, a creative process. Yeah. And that's that's just what it is. Yeah. And I know it's dumb to ask, cause, but nigga no. are you are you nervous about like when you drop some shit that like when you drop this album, are you like kind of like, all right, man, I'm gonna put this out. I wonder what they gonna think about it. But you don't give a fuck. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Because it's, it's like I know my growth with my pen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because like, uh, like I, I know that I'm getting better with my writing techniques. And and the thing about it, because I went back and of course you know I know you on the show, so I want to listen to it. each album. I work midnight, so I got time. Yeah. So I could I honestly could see the growth in each every project. Literally. Like you see more comfortable after every project go by. Mm-hmm. And shit like that. So, yeah. From yeah. my like it's like it's damn near day and night. Yeah. But at the same time it's night because we still going through the day. Yeah. You feel me? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> You for know, sure. we ain't got to the night yet. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting warmed up for real. Now you just put this show a week ago. Yeah. Haven't, been, haven't even been a week. No, right? it's been a couple of days. Yeah. What's the brand, the response so far from like you know saying your people and shit like? Do uh, people fuck with it. Yeah. People fuck with it. Um, you know, um, I figured they would because uh, the production. Yeah. Right. Like David Wesson is, is one of the niggas that have been cultivating the Detroit sound for the past like seven years like sure. you know what I'm saying like some of your favorite Peasy songs is damn near produced by this man Loki. Yeah. you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so I know the, the city was gonna fuck with it mm-hmm. so I'm just more so uh, just right I'm just happy to have that bitch in my catalog and just like alright I don't really ain't gotta worry about that or, or like you know hop in that lane as much too you know yeah. because now I have that collection out yeah. you know and uh, so I can do something else for sure cause like my next one uh, which is called All We Do Is Smoke Volume 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. That yeah, bitch. For the weed yeah. niggas. It's, it's, a, it's a continuation of that of that story. I know you probably, if you checked it out, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, niggas was, in the, was going to the strip club. Yeah. This one is going to be literally at the strip club, yeah. so all the music is geared towards it. On yeah, some, that's you know dope. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, give me your top three tracks from, from this uh, 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 Thoughts After Dropping 50 Miles. Okay. Uh, Tell me. Family. Right. Uh, confidence mm-hmm. and love. Mm-hmm. Those are my top three. Yeah, my my uh, my top three is yeah, probably those two. Probably those three too. For real? Yeah. yeah. Because confidence, love, and family. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, family set the tone for the for the project. Yeah, for sure, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. it let me know that I was just like, you know what, I'm about to just do every song and just. Yeah. I'm just going to yeah, And you took it back you know, On the on the skits and shit dog Like you know what I'm saying oh, always, Don't do you know, skits no more Like that oh, for nah, real Nah nah But I, I love them yeah. I love skits I've been loving skits Since I was a kid Hell yeah so nigga. It like, Back to the cash money shit When yeah. they had that one nigga That little You know what I'm saying Talking shit on the skits dog bro. Shit would be funny as hell Bro Or, or Man all the skits bro Yeah Hell yeah Now I do this thing Called talk about the bars I take a piece of a bar We talk about it Okay So you say uh, Yo bitch gave me that pussy Now you mad at me That was mm-hmm. on BMW mm-hmm. Have that, Have you ever been in a situation or vice versa. Yeah. Like you have been in those situations oh, where it was a, it was a funny one. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. So look, um, there's a teammate, right? I'm in high school. Oh shit! Listen, listen, listen. We, we you gotta listen, bro. You gotta. You, you, you ain't heard the whole story yet. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Right. So, uh, my man's got a girl, and we know it's his girl. But mm-hmm. His girl fine, and we be telling him his girl fine. Yeah. And he be he was like, oh man, you ain't gonna be able to take my girl, bro. You yeah. can try and not be able to take my girl. Yeah. And I said, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. Like don't, please don't do that. And yeah. he was like, no, you can try. I swear to God, you ain't gonna. Yeah. I said, okay. Yeah. I had class with the girl. Yeah. So like you, you too for confidence. It's, it's you done fucked me up because yeah. not like you, you you fucked up because now I got. Have a, a whole easy end. Yeah. You feel me? Hell yeah. 
Next thing you know, yeah. you know, we in the backseat of my auntie truck. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so I'm so that happens. I live life, you know, we don't really work out. For sure. I go to I go to college, I get a phone call and it's him. Yeah. Like, hey bro, why you and I'm like, bro, you said Yeah, you said nigga try, nigga, you ain't gonna be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm supposed to tell you. Yeah, dog. No. That so nigga, like, yeah, yeah, it happens. That nigga had too much confidence, nigga. In high school, bro. like you can't have confidence no <laughs> your high bro. school girlfriend, nigga. I don't know why. Nigga say, nigga, you could get nigga do whatever, nigga. You ain't fucking my bitch, nigga. Okay. Try, cuz. Like, all right. And you did, and she was, she she probably did shit a, a lot. She went back in the back of the car real quick and gave it, got loose. Bruh. Duh. Now on love, you say I got a wealth of knowledge that I didn't get from college. Mm-hmm. Talk about that, cause a lot of times niggas they go to school, and of course, I mean, salute to people who go to college and shit like that. But for the most part, man, niggas get those degrees and they just collect dust. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I mean. The shit that you got a degree on, you not you working somewhere else and shit, Chrysler right. and shit. Like, right. talk about that, like, cause a lot of times we do get. Sometimes college ain't for everybody. You can't get more game, from learning from the streets or yeah, you, doing your own research and yeah, shit. I get life, man. Life teaches something every day. Yeah. If you don't learn something new every day, you did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, literally, I'm always just trying to learn something from a situation I'm in, what I'm going through. Mm-hmm. So if I'm constantly learning, like I don't need. Sure. Like I don't need to yeah. go to college. I don't need to pay you to for some yeah. information that I could probably look up my damn self. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know what bro. I'm saying? Like yeah. what? Yeah, man. You got me, how much, man? You got me in debt. How much? <laughs> fuck y'all. Yeah, now, you, now you broke, nigga. I'm broke as fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get a house and they looking at me like, oh, you owe the, you owe the University of yeah. Dallas. You, you, you know, you know Sally Mae. Yeah, this like, like, like bitch. Fuck <laughs> you and her. Hell yeah. <laughs> fuck all y'all niggas. Fuck you and her. Hell yeah. Didn't like, J Cole tell you that? Yeah. Hell yeah. And then confidence. You said independent, independent. Fuck a deal. I made my mind up. Mm-hmm. Is that you want to stick on that route? Like if you ever do have some talks with somebody, is it gonna be a partnership? Like talk about that, man. Um. Yeah. If it, if I ever do get into that type of shit, it'll have to be a a partnership. Yeah. With a whole lot of equity and like. Full creative control. Yeah. Like I really just need, like, your marketing team for sure. Just to like look, listen to my shit and give me a show me a plan that's like, you know, yeah. can work. But yeah. like at the end of the day, I ain't really trying to. Yeah. Need I don't need you for shit. Yeah, because I think that's the whole thing now is with music is that you just need the label just to kind of back you because you doing yeah. all the work it ain't like they got a nigga to no. to groom you and shit. Like yeah, don't don't you ain't gotta charge. Like they be doing outrageous shit like charging. Like giving producers X like hundred thousand dollars for a fucking beat and shit like that and yeah. just like let me negotiate that. Yeah. It's on my own. Like yeah, I'm, sure. I'm pretty sure I can like your budget ain't fuck your budget. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your for budget. Sure. And with social media now, dog, like you rep you advertising yourself, they not doing nothing. They just like see like, okay, you got a good following, bet we we gonna back you. Mm-hmm. But you ain't built the whole fan base and all that shit your damn self. So right. like I said, at the end of the day you just need them for the marketing team. Like, yep. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That, that little help right there and shit. That's it. Yeah, man. Now, this is a funny one, though. On an introduction, you said, don't don't, don't never let no new bitch make you spaghetti. Mm-hmm. I know about that because my grandma, I'm quite sure you yeah, stay with you your, your you OGs and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know why. Have you ever had a chick make you some red sauce food, dog? No. I'm not eating it. Like, how long do it take for you to trust? I'm not eating it. Ever. My, my mama made it. <laughs> All right, you been with Keisha, dog. Did my mama make it? No. No. Ke- Ke- you and did, my, did my mama make it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, go I think I think my mama was mad as hell with me, dog, mm-hmm. one day, dog. Because you, you ate it? Yeah, I knew <laughs> shit. I knew it. But this, like, nigga, this, like, shit. this early on in the game, dog, mm-hmm. she had made some motherfucking, uh, some, uh, some red sauce food, dog. And I ate it, nigga. And my mama was like, why the fuck you just met the bitch? Like, duh. So that spaghetti shit is funny. But I wonder, like, I know back in the day it said that, like, Chicks Voodoo. put a period in yeah, their yeah, business yeah. like that, yeah, dog. Yeah. Like, I want to know. I wish I could talk to the chick that did that, dog. Man, and what was yeah. her whole thinking? Like, did she, like, did I want to go. Did it actually yeah. work? Yeah. I, I want to go back to New Orleans when that motherfucker did chick. Did it actually work? <laughs> and like, the, asked and, her. In the 50s did that shit, dog. Because we cracked jokes on people that we know, like, that nigga started to different. Mm-hmm. When he got with such and such, that mother mm-hmm. must have made some motherfucking chili or some shit. That's that's what it was. It was chili. Mm. She made chili. I love chili. I ate the motherfucking chili. I'm cool. I'm not with her, so she ain't had no spell on me and shit. Okay. Though. All right. Good. 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 <laughs> voodoo yeah. ain't work. Or, <clears throat> or wasn't no voodoo. I don't now, know. <laughs> now, love, you said you asked that bitch her body count, nigga, grow up. Mm-hmm. You, so, nigga, throughout your life, when last time you asked the bitch how many people she slept with, if ever? So I, I, Tim, 10th grade high school. That was it. After that, you was like, nigga, fuck that shit. Fuck it. Yeah. At that point, it's just like, whatever. 
Yeah. Now, do you expect, like, all right, bet, say, me and you, we homies and shit. Mm -hmm. You messing with this one chick. We smashed. Whose job is it to tell you that we smashed? Mine's or hers? Am I messing with her? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, damn. Like, like, cause then, cause like. So how, like, so we? So you admit, all right, bet. This how it is. I never knew. I never. I'm, I'm your nigga. You tell me about this chick that you messing with, right? Uh huh. So and then you go get her. I come up. No, I come over. Uh huh. I come over y'all crib, or I come over. She there. Uh huh. Who break the ice, dude? Like, I, I come in like, damn. I, I, I am. I smash. I smash Bianca, dog. Uh, I hit her before. Damn, my nigga. My nigga. My nigga. Fresco. Uh, this is oh. girl now, though. So do I do, do so do I come in off, off the rib, I come in though mm -hmm. like dog hey man we need to talk. Well or do she got put you in the bedroom like or is it is it a collection, a group, nigga, group it gotta effort. be a group effort. Yeah. It gotta be a group effort. But what do I do? Do I got one girl like let's go test nigga Bianca like <laughs> <laughs> Yes you guys oh, no. like, Hey Hey bro we fucked. Me and her fucked, bro. Like hey I don't know bro. And I'm gonna be like, damn It's fucked up. Um do you still okay. talk to her? Um, you gotta go, Bianca. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Bianca, you gotta go. I gotta, I gotta get my thoughts together. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be hard every time you smash. You think about your nigga Craig and hit this shit like, damn, Craig and pound this motherfucker. Right, right. No, man, that's <laughs> fucked up. But it's, but it's like, uh, how, how, how do I really like Bianca? Yeah, you like, you like her though. I really like, like her. You, you, she changed, like nigga. She, she different from any chick that you ever mess with. I find, I find it Bianca. Is Bianca fine? <laughs> yeah. All right, Missy. Bianca is motherfucking. She making good in her twenties, nigga. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna say Bianca. Waist deep, nigga. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still do my thing with Bianca. I ain't worried about Craig. Yeah. Because <laughs> Craig ain't gonna get here again. That's the thing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But then it's like, then do you like, nigga? How often do you invite Craig to come over though? <laughs> like right. that's your man. Y'all play two K together, nigga. Like, come on. Yeah. All right, bad, bad, bad. That's my bitch. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah, if, if you can take her, you can have her. Yeah. Hell yeah. No, nah, for sure. You go, you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. If you can nah, take her, you can have her. Nah, man. You already know how we roll, man. I, about the whole little music shit, man. I always ask niggas, do they want to rap on the show, man? Mm -hmm. But you said the only way you're going to rap if I say something. Yeah, we freestyle. We're going to do, we gonna do what we used to do in the car. Yeah. Now, my shit might not be a freestyle, y'all. It might be a little written to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, disclaimer. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm a podcaster, <laughs> nigga. You know what I'm saying? I used to rap and shit, dog. You feel rapping. me? Motherfucker, uh, Shy Style Tuesday, man. Motherfucker, uh, Fresco Bundles in this Sunday. bitch, dog. I know, but we, it, 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 oh. it air on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> air on Tuesday. <laughs> look at me. Keep no, that shit. No, I ain't that high. Hey, keep that uh, shit, uh, dog. Uh, hey, he really about to question me, like, nigga, uh, do you smoke for you? Uh, bro, you gotta be blown. Do you eat edible, nigga? <laughs> keep that shit good. <laughs> Shy Style Tuesday. Fresco Bundles in this motherfucker. We had a special appearance for me. <laughs> yeah. That nigga said he want me to rap, so... I got a rap, I guess. Hey, got a rap, you guess. Man. Hey. Uh, you got a rap, I guess. Yeah. Mm. I ain't bought no jeans since I used to fucking shop at Guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> that was back in 09, but now I know how to dress. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Pull up to your bitch and she gonna fall out that dress. <sighs> hey. Hey, pull up to a bitch, yeah. I know the address. <laughs> Got that address, cuz. Roll it up, smoke it. Bitch, I'm smoking potent, and your bitch know she want it. Uh-uh. Hey. Smoking like I'm Kobe. Bitch, I'm hot, and your bitch, yeah, she know me. <laughs> bitch, you not, uh. Oh, he waiting for me. Yeah. Gotta come through this bitch with the fresh white tea. Yeah. It's a freestyle nigga, ain't shit written. Mm -mm. Your favorite MCs, yeah, them niggas bullshit. I'm bullshit. on the east, nigga. Yeah. And I don't smoke no weed, but mm -hmm. I got about one, two, three C's. Uh. That's kids, nigga. Uh -huh. Shout out to Shy Junior. Yeah. Balling on you niggas like he in the junior Lee. Olympus. That shit didn't make sense. But it I'm did. <laughs> uh, he got some kids. Shout out to Mig. That's my son, yeah. Know how we live. Hey. He gonna be a baller too, beast on the court. Backing niggas down, then he hit him with the shack dunk. Bitch, what's up? <laughs> yeah, bitch, back up. Uh, we Not bring that, that motherfucker back ass up. up. Yeah. yeah. I fought this bitch, she just got off the period. Ooh. Lean, but I'm just a little curious. Ooh. <laughs> just I smashed what? that bitch Ooh. on the Wednesday. Came back damn on the Wednesday. Ooh. Shit. Cause that shit was kinda good. Mm -hmm. I'm a nigga from the hood, don't get shit misunderstood. Bitch. Hey, I got that nonsight. No, I don't. Nope. <laughs> My nigga got it, he won't. Pow. 
<laughs> Shoot a nigga quick. Hey. <laughs> Cross up a sick nigga. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> I told you, nigga, this shit easy. <laughs> nigga, it ain't easy, bro. Oh, shit, dog. <laughs> All right, go ahead, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't easy, bro. Bro, I got a sleazy foe. Got your bitch on the floor. Call that bitch a sleazy hoe. Slut bitch. Little slur ass hoe. Yeah, she like to suck it in. Go on the floor. I said, I don't know why you want a collar and shit, but I bought it for the bitch like a dollar and shit. The first time I got some pussy, the bitch pulled out a mad. I threw that bitch like, what the f bitch, you take no fucking jack. <laughs> this is my first time hitting, nigga. I got a cruise in this bitch. Let me take my time. Raw dog. That bitch smell like fish too. Oh dog. But you know I hit that bitch too. Oh dog. <laughs> that bitch said she gonna buy me a jersey. Oh, I never heard back. Damn, that shit hurt me. <laughs> well, my mama couldn't buy a jersey, but my auntie did. Living at the crib with my mama and them, and my grandma too. With the crew coming through, we gonna rap, bitch. Who is you? <laughs> and he said, don't eat spaghetti. No red sauce. That -uh. bitch putting a period in that shit. She a real boss, because she gonna control you on some Voodoo real shit. shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. New Orleans nigga, but we in Detroit. What the fuck is that? Bitch. Niggas talking all that shit. I hit it from the back. Bitch. Hey. But that's the same red sauce Cause I said she was bleeding Nigga what the fuck the cost What the fuck the cost I is? never paid for no pussy sight Never paid for no pussy sight <laughs> I took that bitch the red lobster that bitch the red lobster She said she want that lobster tail I want the fucking lobster tail I hit that bitch and did not bail Did not bail <laughs> Did not bail Hey, <laughs> in that shit <laughs> That's right why he got three seats <laughs> <laughs> For sure nigga Yeah I hit that shit I want some more nigga mm -hmm. I got caught by my little son 12 right. months later Got a little darted right. though But Damn. they ain't made sense Gonna take 9 months So I'm Damn. tripping <laughs> <laughs> Cooking in that kitchen Oh <laughs> Hey bro We, we kicked it no, We <laughs> kicked it I told you bro Look You, you thought you Thought you couldn't freestyle hey, Come on, It might be written That nigga just freestyled That whole bitch bro <laughs> Hey bro Create make Go make some shit it ain't, it ain't hard You see how we just did it Hey that was the whole Motherfucking beat too, the whole, Bro we just did it <laughs> Look, and literally, we can go find some shit. Find some real good cadences in that bitch, bro. And really, we can probably really make a good song, bro. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, bro. Oh, no. Hey, I don't smash chicks on A period, dog. You said it already. <laughs> look, look at me. You said it already. <laughs> dog, man, dog. That shit funny as hell, dog. Yeah, bro. Now niggas gonna make me want to rap on shit when they come on and shit, dog. Yeah, bro. But... They my... gotta bring that energy. Yeah, for sure. They for gotta, sure. They bring... Just have a little fun and shit. Talk some shit, dog. Mm-hmm. Like nigga for real, for real. But have you ever got to the studio with a nigga and be like, though, why you even rap? Mm. No, I ain't I ain't been in the studio <laughs> with a nigga like that. Uh <laughs> I might I might have did a song with a nigga like that. Yeah, like, yeah. I ain't been in the studio with a nigga like that. <laughs> if I'm in the studio with you, I, I respect what you do. For sure. I either I you know, respect your opinion or like I know you do music and shit. Yeah. But it's never uh it's never like, hey, yeah. Come on, bro, let's go rapping in yeah. this nigga ass. And it's just like, oh, man. <laughs> no, uh, hey, man, you you blessed, bro. I, I, thank you, bro. I, I, I appreciate mean, you, you blessed because you woke up this morning, but. Yes, facts. Man, you got to be, man, I'm jealous, dog. What? As soon as I open the door for your ass, nigga, this nigga had hair coming out of his motherfucking hat, dog. <laughs> nah, bro, it's not. It's... I'm like, damn, cuz. I hate my life, nigga. Nah, my bro. dad was boy. No, dog. bro, it's not. Look, look, <laughs> genetic, genetics is give, it's gonna give me two, bro. It's just, it's a matter of time yeah. before I get there, and, and yeah. I'm just gonna. Yeah, Savory wise yeah. here But But when you How quick are you gonna be To be like man fuck I'm chopping this shit off Oh I'm I don't know Yeah I don't know Cause nigga that, I'm scared One day when nigga We was on camera and shit dog mm -hmm. For his show And the mice was hitting And my shit was stringy As fuck up top And then I remember A girl on my basketball team Was like Coach Shaw You got baby here I'm like no nah, My shit just is leaving <laughs> And then you know how like when you got the barber chair, nigga, you feel good about yourself. I like, bet it's Friday. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to the club. Yeah, feel good. Huh? Yeah, I was feeling good though. I was coming out that bitch miserable. Like man, get my hat, put that bitch back on. So it mm. took me about two, three years, to, two years to be like, fuck, I'm chopping this bitch off. Yeah, I think I think I don't know, man. That's a, that's a touchy subject. <laughs> I love my hair. I've been growing my hair out since since I was 20, 23. For real? Yeah, I man. Thirty one now. Man. So it's like. But at least you got your through your prime years with your hair though. Yeah, I I was. Like you wasn't like my brother was twenty three and bald nigga like. Yeah, that's nigga, that's his prime nigga like. Yes, yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying. My granddad, my granddad was bald all in here. Yeah. I, used, I used to call him baldy. Yeah. But like he used he looked like George Jefferson. He so he used to rock the George like yeah. the little, the little uh, Uncle Phil and he shit. Rocked, he rocked the George Jefferson. Yeah. Like that's how he rocked it, and that was just like damn. <laughs> 
<laughs> he like, yep. Fishbowl with that bitch, though. That bro, when I used to be on the, on the top of his head, like. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, that shit. Nigga, hair for some niggas, that shit, that's a, that's a, that's a touchy um, subject, nigga. Niggas yeah, gotta bro. go therapy for that shit, bro. Bro, that shit, yeah, like, shit. Man. <laughs> what what's some shit that you hate about this meal shit that you gotta deal with though? Like you just like nigga I... social media. Yeah. So you feel like you don't put enough work in on nope. social media? I suck. Yeah. I suck at it. I was gonna say that shit, but I didn't want to be like <laughs> I was gonna say you don't post a I'm it, terrible. You don't post a lot. I'm terrible. Yeah. But I don't it's it's cause at the end of the day, yeah, you I don't care about none of that, but I just care about having yeah. my idea of be able to be documented. So without that shit, like it being terrible at that shit, like how do you get the music out to the people? And be like, fuck with this shit. shit I, uh, like I said, I drive. I tell everybody I meet, I pretty much tell I rap. Yeah, so rap. you most of a, you more of a sort of an old school type nigga, like word yeah, of mouth. Word of mouth, word of mouth, been working since. Uh, <laughs> I don't know when. Yeah, since the right? time, since, nigga. Like, I know social media is new and that shit work mm. tremendous wonders, but like, what I'm trying to get mm. is more so like organic. Like, I need motherfuckers to feel a connection with me. For sure. Like, if I, is, you feel more connected with me if I come up to you and say, hey, bro, you want to check out the song I made? Mm-hmm. If you tell me if you like it or not. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, or if I'm your Lyft driver and I ask you that and, it, and it's actually cold, you might have, a, you know, my... Your, your memory break is gonna store me a little different than it does For another sure. artist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, uh, I just feel like you know that that's more important. Yeah, the yeah. connection with my fans instead of just how many fans I get. For Those sure. niggas can really like a song, and mm-hmm. you know, that's it. That's it. Hell yeah! <laughs> now one thing I would do is before we get to the um, end of my shit is uh, what happened with the podcast when they coming back around, dog. Man, I gotta find the co-host. Yeah. Okay. I need to find the co-host, bro. Yeah. Uh, and then that's, you know, somebody you get blow with. Talk some shit, you know, just yeah, yeah, talk some music, but yeah. you know, t- you know, talk about talk about the scales, talk about our differences in opinions on music. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Is and, it gonna be strictly music or it'll be a little touch on whatever? Well, it's it's really trying to change the the way music is, uh, you know, compared. Mm-hmm. So it's really gonna kind of be mostly music based. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just sure. just trying to uh, show different opinions mm-hmm. and different uh, viewpoints on certain artists. Yeah. You know, hell yeah, making the band, bro. I know you watched it. Yeah, one one album, you and four other people, producer, singer, or rappers. Who is gonna be? Producer, singer, rapper. But it could be it, it could be any it could be all rappers, all producers, or all singers. Like, but where we where we at? We we talk. Where, okay, what we talking global? Global, huh? Oh, okay. Hmm. Let me see. Fresco bundle band. Me. Me spitter. Bay, all right, bae, you got currency, my nigga. Right. I love that nigga. Me spitter. Who gonna make the beats? I think Alchemist gonna make the beats. Oh, shit, that's hard already. Right. I think Alchemist gonna make the beats. I right, need two more people, dog. Rappers, singers, whatever. I got two. I get two more people? Yep. Ooh, okay. You currency, motherfucker. The Alchemist, nigga. Mm-hmm. He about to kill mm-hmm. the beats and shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with... Uh, motherfucking... Somebody that I work with a lot, she uh she helped on on all we do is smoke volume two. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Ice is the meal. I'm gonna have her singing. She gonna yep. be doing all the little runs and shit in the background. Bad, bad. Off, off the off the alchemist beats. You know right. what I'm saying? So you say Ice is the what? Ice is the meal. Yeah, I remember she was. Oh uh, yeah, her. So she got a nice little voice. Yeah, yeah, she got I a nice bet. voice. Real, real, real beautiful voice. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, so I feel like so you got a lady on that mud singing. Just you know, got it. What they they say they say you ain't got a a, a hip hop album if you ain't got a R and B chick on there for right? sure hell yeah All right so you get her in there back there singing doing some, doing some runs making shit sound good nice and lovely hell yeah. right now you got one more person dog your last one but not around fucking least one more fucking rapper well shit I gotta keep tradition going because so far damn near every tape tape I didn't drop didn't have my man's Roy Duffy on it except yeah. for. This last one, which was like a press conference, so he couldn't be there. Yeah. So, you know, so I got to have Roy Duffy on that bitch. All right, bet. So you got Roy, you got Ice is the Meal. And I got Spitter. Spitter, and you got Alchemist, Alchemist on the, be- on the, the beat. Beats. Hell yeah, that's the motherfucking album. That's what's the, the motherfucking album. album. What's that motherfucker called, dog? <laughs> Blow shit. Blow shit. Blow shit. Blow shit. Talk, nigga. Some we shit. About, we about to just, we going to make that shit in one night. We all just going to just sit there and just rap. Yeah, hell yeah. Just rap, nigga. Just all right. make some shit. Shit, man, towards the end, I do this thing called Versus, man. Right. I give you two things, two people, whatever. You tell me who win. All right. Summertime gear versus fall gear. Fall. Christmas versus Thanksgiving. 
Thanksgiving. All right, nigga. You eat dressing? Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. We ain't friends no more. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't friends no more. Damn, dog. All I right. We was friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still won't be friends. You ain't got to be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> dog. Damn. Dressing's a good thing. No, it's not. Dog, y'all foolish. I saw, I saw my mama. I saw my grandma make it one time, and I was like, yeah, I'm straight. <laughs> All right. Do you want honey bacon ham mm-hmm. versus a motherfucking fried Damn. turkey? Ham. Ham. All right, bet. Macaroni. You want macaroni. that? Macaroni. No, no. Stiff. Anything, okay. <laughs> <laughs> man. Stiff. You want your, your shit stiff versus the creamy shit when you kind of like pour it and it's kind of like fall a little bit. No, nah, not like my shit kind of stiff. It's like this, like, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, not, 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 no, not poor. You're not gunky. <laughs> not gunky, no. No. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, dog. Chicken wings, chicken breast. Wings. Hell yeah. Are fried or baked? Fried, I'm a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Soul food versus seafood. Seafood. All right, thought you want you want you a short, thick chick or a tall, slim chick. A chick that love me. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't prime, nigga. Neil Long versus Jada Pickett. Prime. Jada Pickett, I love her. Yeah, she was a bad boy. When she was in motherfucking uh, Jason Lyric. Uh-huh, I love her. Friday two versus Friday three, cause nigga, we all know Friday one is the best one. Mm-hmm. Damn, the Christmas movie. Yeah. The Christ- three. Yeah, going three. Yeah. See, I, th- I go with two. I, I like two. two. I like two, but the Christmas movie was just. What's that? A Rolex? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Stolex, not. Nah, <laughs> Hell yeah! Smoking and chilling, mm, or bro. smoking and hanging. Smoking. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga say just weed, nigga. Weed, nigga. Smoking. The uh, motherfucking. I can, do you as a, a do? Oh, you all right? Just your chick. You want mm-hmm. you want to have sex with the sober chick or the drunk chick? Sober. Sober. Yeah. See, and then all the drunk, all the chicks on here say they want to be drunk when they fuck. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. I don't want you to be drunk. Yeah, Jordan ones. Mm. This you gonna wear the shoe forever. Mm. Jordan ones or white Air Force ones. Jordan ones. Jordan ones. All right, nigga. Jordan Elevens versus Jordan Twelves. Why you doing this to me? This is my favorite too right there. Why you doing this to me? This is my favorite too right there. I don't, I don't know. Um, Jordans. Your <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite player, dog. Uh, who uh, who the best? Kobe. Kobe. Career wise. All right, fuck it. <laughs> All right, who the best young talent right now, dog? Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic. Jason Tatum. Giannis, Giannis out to the Kung Fu. Yeah. Who would you build your team around? Hmm. With somebody right now, current NBA player right now. You the first first pick in the 2023 draft. Expansion. Yeah. I get to pick any one of these niggas. Yep. And you Probably have to be Jason Tatum. I don't know, man. These niggas good, bro. A lot of these niggas is good. No, <laughs> a lot no. of these NBA niggas is really good right now. Yeah. I've been watching the NBA a long time, yeah. right? Yeah. And like talent, top to bottom, it's a lot of talented no, motherfuckers is. on this it bitch. Is, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if I had to build my team, though, I think I'm, I think I'm going with uh, with Giannis. I know, yeah, like yes, that's, that's the he can do one. everything. That's the obvious one, but right, at the same the, day, it's like the non obvious one. Damn. It's hard just to go off like without picking the obvious. Yeah, because Giannis is the obvious choice, right? Because he's yeah. the greatest player in, right now. He can do everything. He can do everything. Like it's like, but at the same time, it's like, do I really just take Giannis from Milwaukee? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, do I do that to Milwaukee? Yeah. yeah, duh. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> really, really, fuck really Boston, it. right? Come yeah. on, Jason. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell you know? yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. This is an expansion draft. We got to take him from somewhere. For sure, for sure. All right, last question, dog. All versus right. Carter two versus Carter three. Carter two. Car two, mm-hmm. you do you fuck car one over car one? I mean, uh, uh, car two one over car one. Car two kind of got like a. Uh, Cause to me, car one gotta, he, he's spitting better. Car two yeah. is production better. Yeah, they got a, they they like one and two to me. Like I, they want a and one b. Yeah, for type sure. Shit, like I I ain't really got no no uh, yeah. choice between the car one and car two, but I got a choice between all of them and yeah. car three. Car three is like my least third, favorite. He, my second favorite because yeah. them them two number one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, all right, man. Drunk moment, high moment, man. Give me a story when you were drunk, high, or fucked up, and just it fucked everything up, man. Bro, so I was like, I just turned eighteen. Yeah, we had this party. Um, my man's uh, 
laying on people's house. Yeah. This <laughs> and nigga motherfucking. Who's... And uh, it was a big ass party. Niggas was drinking. Yeah. Right. I was drunk. Yeah. And uh, all I remember is this girl. She had a thick old butt. Yeah. Right. She yeah. been had a thick old <laughs> butt. Right. Thick butt. Since she, <laughs> thick butt bread. Bro. Bitch. So since, since, since we was since we was kids, right? Since Damn, we she was, was fourteen, up. right? She so it was up, like yeah. nah. So so. As she about to leave, right? I'm yeah. drunk as fuck. This yeah. is the last thing I remember before I blacked out, yeah. right? What y'all drinking? I don't know. I a whole, bunch of shit. <laughs> a whole bunch of shit. Bullshit. A whole bunch of bullshit. We yeah. 18. What you think? Yeah, yeah. We got our hands on. Yeah, 18. Like, see, you know, whatever, bullshit. bro. Yeah. Give me this. Give me that. I'm taking them shots and I'm drinking them straight because yeah. I'm crazy. Yeah, don't know better. You know what I'm saying? I'm stupid. Yeah. Right. So as I'm as I, after I just did that, she about to leave. She told me bye. Uh, motherfucking grind on me comes on, <laughs> right? <laughs> And I was like, oh, but I want you to grind on me. Yeah. And then she stopped and started dancing on me. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then the nigga blacked out. Duh. Uh, they tell me I'm running around grabbing bitches' booties. I'm I'm doing all kind of shit. Woke, I woke up, I was throwing up on the toilet. Yeah. Like it was just it was just bad, bro. Duh. I got carried I got carried out the party. Yeah. It was just like, bro, Duh. fuck fuck drinking. Yeah, right. You, so you and Sean can't drink because he told me a story and he was like, nigga, off right. the, t- nigga, off. The- he fell out a chair on the floor and all that shit. Yeah, he, yeah, but he be drinking though. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I think that nigga went on the run and like not drinking for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he be doing shit. that and then he then he drink a little bit and he don't. Yeah, man. Yeah. So you say you blacked out. You 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 got the ground on me dance from Big Booty Brenda. Yep. Then you start going crazy grabbing everybody else. Just going crazy. I don't know what I was doing. Yeah. I, was, I was drunk. Like, remember Bro. I told you I don't like I don't like drinking because I don't. Yeah. Man, for like sure. Like being in control. You know what I'm Like being in control. Like yeah, well, motherfucker, yeah. I was not in control, nigga. Yeah, dog. I don't remember yeah. none of that shit. Man. That kissing shit. bitches, rubbing, like running. I was, they said oh, I was you were drunk for kissing bitches. They said I was going crazy. <laughs> they said I was going crazy, bro. Be, see, my nigga Weez only be for the, he's, I remember that nigga turned down the bitch in the club like, good. See? That nigga was, but he was coherent, nigga, like just tonguing the bitch. I'm like, what the fuck you doing? Cause you just met this bitch. Man, yeah, nigga, no, bitch. No, no, no. That nigga doing white boy style. I was nigga. doing crazy shit. That's <laughs> stupid. Man, but I appreciate you coming up with this bitch, dog. No, I appreciate you having me. You know what I'm saying? I know we've been talking about this shit a minute ago. Hey, man. It's I'm all glad right. you buried with me and shit, dog. I got some people out the way before I got to you and shit. And it happened when it was supposed to happen. Bro, because some niggas, if I don't get back to them, they think I'm haunting them, but really I got like a list of motherfuckers. Yeah, break, I'm chopping down. Yeah. So a nigga, niggas didn't block me, delete me, like, damn, cuz. All that shit. And some niggas just don't, you, you see some niggas shit like, dog, that shit. They just seem whack as a person. <laughs> like, <laughs> they don't even seem like a cool guy. Like, yeah, like, you, don't even, you don't even seem like a cool guy, bro. You seem like, nigga, a, I had niggas. You seem like a punk. <laughs> I had, yeah, a little punk nigga. But you had people like reach out to me who got one song. Like, bro, you ain't got one project out. You got one song and you promoting the fuck out this one song and you want to come and sit down and talk it about this one song. song. Your rap career was yesterday, nigga. Like, come on, bro. Like, build that shit up a little bit, then come out here and start talking to niggas, bro. Right. At least, <laughs> at least I'm in college. Yeah, exactly, dog. Like, I got, niggas ain't got nothing to talk about. I, said, I got four years of rapping. Yeah. That's my four, that's my four college years. I didn't even get through the pros yet. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why I can't talk to nobody under... I really don't like talking to nobody under 20, bro, because they mm. really live life. They ain't got nothing to really talk about. Then you got to watch what you say because they under 21. Right. Like, I gave it a chance one time. I just like, no, nah, I can't do it, bro. But like I said, I appreciate you coming to this bitch, dog. Tell nah, people where you can find you on man. social media, even though you don't uh, fuck with social media. Yeah, you, <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, Fresco Bundles. Yeah. Uh, F-R-E-S-C-O-B-U-N-D-L-E-S. Mm-hmm. Same thing on TikTok. For right? sure. I've been on TikTok more than anything. Yeah, I got to start fucking with this shit a little bit more. I should, I, it's creators creating, so I like exactly. it. <laughs> exactly. exactly. You, you want to leave people with some motherfucking words of wisdom? Um, man. Pay attention to that that inner voice that's telling you what to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like some people call it intuition, mm-hmm. but in my in my opinion, that's like the ability to tap into the universe, aka the higher power. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, understand that you got a purpose for sure. You know, and don't think too deep about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like sure. it's right in front of you. Yeah. You know, sometimes you just gotta just go wake up and actually do it. For sure. Hell yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, hell yeah. And I see my man, he manifested his son, so don't be thinking about three. This is gonna happen. You feel me? <laughs> you see, you see, they got triplets in this bitch, you dog. You see? <laughs> Shit, man, I don't wanna leave people with no with nothing, dog. Just uh I don't know, man. Don't 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 go broke trying to motherfucking please your kids for Christmas, though. They understand. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. explain it to him, dog. My mom hey, explained to me like, nigga, you gonna... we ain't got it right now. Yeah, nigga, it been plenty of times I got, you got my... look. You get two gifts. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> See, my son got two of his gifts already, but the oldest one like, 
like, dang, hey, cuz don't think you're gonna wake up on Christmas to get but more, my, nigga. Like, my son, my son, think he's gonna be slick because he got uh, his birthday and then Christmas. Yeah. But no, he don't understand it. He got three holidays and I'm splitting up all his presents throughout. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Hell yeah, break like, that bitch down. I, you know what I'm saying? I started a holiday as a kid called Kids Day. Yeah. So I passed it on to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he got that day, his birthday, and Christmas. Yeah. He not getting a whole bunch of shit on, on none of them. It's going to be a little, it'll be a little <laughs> yeah. shit little on bit, all of them. A little sprinkle on that bitch, nigga. You feel me? What the nigga salt bay on ten, that bitch, nigga? Ten, <laughs> Tim gives it a, 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 at the at the uh, maximum. Yeah, all yeah, of them yeah. like yeah, Divide, yeah. Well, hey, this is how you learn division, son. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do that. That's how you break this down. Hell no, but no, like I said, I appreciate you coming to this bitch, dog. Amazing. Episode one forty two, motherfucking fresco bundles in this motherfucking dog podcast MVP voice of Detroit, man. You know.